Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Garlips, and today is Good Friday. It's it's a Good Friday, apparently. I mean, I don't know what I don't see what's so great about it, but um, yes, it's Good Friday. Um, it is Friday, the 29th of March, and uh, we're going to be playing today Danganronpa Two: Goodbye Despair. Um, this is going to be part four of Danganronpa uh, Two, and I'm enjoying it a lot. We actually stopped last time just before. A, uh, well, just after a murder had happened, just before we were going to start investigating it. So I'll sum up the story again in a minute. But um, uh, just points of order, news, before we move on. Um, yesterday we got the uh, the new world record for Sausage Hunter blindfolded. That was fun. Um, now, I'd, I'd strongly urge someone to come and take it from me, but I don't think they're going to. However, someone who has come and taken something from me is Gekish. Gekish just put forward today a new blobby run that is three seconds faster than mine, I think. I think it's three seconds. Um, hang on, I'll just double check. But yes, and I had a couple of goes at it uh, just before we started streaming today. And yeah, I can't touch it yet. I came close, but uh, no, I haven't touched it yet. So don't worry, I'll put in some time over the Easter weekend. I'm sure. I'm sure I will. <laughs> uh, next week. So I'm going to work out my schedule today, but I'm thinking... Because Monday is a bank holiday, it's uh, Easter Monday in the UK, I'm probably just going to do a blinder. I'm prob I think I'm just going to try and play all of Banjo-Kazooie, like complete it 100% in one sitting. Um, we'll see how well that goes for me. But um, yeah, I was thinking doing something like that so that then I can start learning the speedrun because that's, that's where my heart is. That's what I want to learn next. That and maybe Mystical Ninja. Um, so yeah. And then what else are we going to be doing? We'll be doing more Dang and Romper next week as well. That'll probably be what next week looks like. Cool. Alrighty then. So, without any further ado, let's slip back in. Ooh, whoops. I know why that's not working. Give me a second here. Let's uh, fix that. That's because I was just doing some blobby runs real quick and I forgot to switch it over. And now, as if that didn't happen, here is Dang and Romper 2. So, just to recap the story of Danganronpa 2 before we, we jump back in. So far, we've had one murder and one trial. Uh, it was... Uh, who was murdered? Uh, Byakuya was murdered by Teru Teru, the chef. And then since then, you know, we've been dealing with the, out, uh, the fallout from that. Also, the fact that um, that guy, I forget his name, he's really fucked up and wants to help the murderers commit murder. So I can't remember what, N Nagato, that's it, Nagato came to me. So um, he's been chained up the whole time since then because people have been like, well, we don't want him around. Um, and then what's his face? Uh, the guy in the yellow jumpsuit with the pink hair, he's very cool. He told me that the girls were gonna be having a pool party, a swimming pool, uh, well, swimming at the bar, uh, a beach party at the beach. And, um, you know, we should just happen to be there and coincidentally join the girls. Uh, but what has happened is someone has killed the, the redhead girl. I can't remember her name. And she is dead, lying dead in the pool house. And that's where we're going to be picking things up. So, yeah, I'm excited to continue. I want to I want to see what this murder has in store for us. It's going to be very interesting. So we're beginning the investigation phase. We Literally, that's where we left off. Okie dokie, there she is. What's her name? Mihiru. That's it, Mihiru's body. Right, we're going to have a good look around and talk to everybody. So, we have got Metal Bat. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mihiru with a blunt object. That blunt object, it's this Metal Bat, right? Huh, this Metal Bat. Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Oh, in the game, that arcade game. There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. I remember now. Yes, the arcade game. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. Hey, hey. Did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case. In order to solve the mystery behind Mihiru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. 
but even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Hmm. I'm not sort of girl, some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that the Metal Bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Metal Bat has been added to the truth bullets. Okie dokie. There's also a mask on the ground. What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. A gaudy mask? Ah, that mask! You've seen this? Sunwitch Esperito. It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%. Is Sonya's country really all right? Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be Ward? Please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out to the beach house. What's with her? It, appears. it looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Pretty anime girl mask has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Right, let's talk to Ibuki. Right, I think everyone is just going to say, like, generic, she's dead stuff. Hmm, that's weird, what do you mean? Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. That's going to be important. A drink is missing. I will never forgive killing. Hmm. Jackie seemed quite different from her usual self. You must feel very strongly about killing. That, it's just not, it's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open. So I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel looked like they belonged to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Pico said that she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe... Is that really true? But still... But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? Then whose footprints are these? It appears... It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Footprints on the beach has been added to the truth bullets. Okie dokie. So, let's have a look at the body then. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body 
to the high-spirited Mahiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands onto my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned into the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked, tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the blood stains on the floor, they're streaked, as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door and took her final breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Monokuma file number 2 has been updated in your handbook, check the truth bullet section to review it. Okay, is there anything else to look at here? Well, let's look at the sodas. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or coloured. They look unhealthy. Surely that's important. Well, I don't think I've found everything then. Ah, here we go. Usually it tells you if you found everything. There's bloodstains on the floor and they're streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaked from when Mihiru tried to run away during the attack. So you sh- yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can look at the door. There we go. I've talked to everyone about everything, right? Can I leave? There might still be things. Oh, the open closet. Of course. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet, but there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. They're heavily implying it's the little girl with the, with the uh, kimono. Hmm, there's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Yellow gummy has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. What else we got in here? Flotation devices, snorkels, nets, there's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. empty surfboard case. Okay, I'm done, right? What haven't I looked at yet? Yeah, we should look inside anyway. Wait, what are you doing in here? Damn it. Welcome in, Beep. 
She's taking a shower, duh. Duh, <laughs> Doug. Oh, you got me with the Doug. Now I feel stupid. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, yeah. Clearly, taking a shower. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. What else have we got in here? Got a window. Very high up. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high. So that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window if that's the case. Yeah, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Interesting. Yes, this is the second death. Uh, Mahiru, we just discovered her body. Um, actually, last last stream, we just discovered her body in the beach house. So I've started the investigation today. Um, yeah. I enjoyed the first one. The first one was interesting. Yay, she's the worst. Oh, great. Uh, are we going to have more of, like, weirdness? Like, there, there was a tinge of weirdness in the first game. But I'm enjoying it now. Finally, it's kicked into gear. Um, I don't like Nagato, by the way. Apparently, everyone likes Nagato. Or some people like Nagato, anyway. I'm like, I don't like him. He represents us way too much. Like, he just wants to see... He wants to see the murders happen. He wants to help. I don't trust him. I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Right, okay. Oh, okay. She's gonna give me a piggyback. Oh, I'm giving her a piggyback. Something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have asked. How's the window? Let's see. So that's what happened. Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Check it out? No. With the carne on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Oh, so you, she can get out the window. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep. You just need to be really fucking tall. Kane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how were they able to reach that window? Hmm, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? <laughs> Uh, but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. Like... If you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So... Yeah, like, a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problem, right? Hmm, just as I thought, it looks difficult to go in and out through that window. What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. Check. You... It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Oh, Japan. Oh, well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Right. Okay. Iron barred window has been added to the truth bullets. Right. Okay. That's everything to look at in here. I, look, I can look at the toilet, apparently. There's a toilet, but you can't really use it as a step stool. Alright, let's leave. That's 
got to be all the information, right? Have I not looked at everything now? Fuck, there's still something in here I haven't looked at yet. What have I missed? Talk to everyone. Wait a minute. Did I actually read that? Yep. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 96. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. In the series, three games were released until the year 2000. But in 2008, a completely new game was released. As a fan, I was really happy. It even kept the same ambiance and gameplay as before. Other than that, a live-action movie was also made based on the game's original story. It's not really a forgotten series like Monokuma claimed, I think. Hmm, I guess that's it. Alright. It's reminding me of what Chiaki told me. How have I not looked at everything now? Oh, I haven't looked in the trash can. For fuck's sake. Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can. That's what I thought, but... Hmm, there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Empty bottles. Right, that's got to be everything. Thank God. Yep, we've got to go play Twilight Murder Case again. game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Yep, she, she knows her games. Right. Okay, I need to ask her about it again. I think I've investigated. I finished investigating once through. Then let's go. Go? You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? And I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. All right. I never expected that person to be waiting there. Which person? Who? Who is it going to be? Nagato. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime and. Chiaki, I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagato? It feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mihiru got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mihiru, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now. now, you don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Minomi. Yes, it was me. You? Why did you untie Nagato without anyone's permission? Um, did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. 
There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiru, right? That's right. That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma enough. Enough already. Just go away already. <laughs> no one likes Monomi. Literally no one. Understood. I feel bad for her, but because she is literally a punching bag, but like, I just don't like her. And the game knows that, and the game is playing with that the whole time. I do like how this game is kind of like a postmodern deconstruction of the first game. Like, everything you loved about the first game, they turn it on its heads, and then they make they, they make a point of showing that you like being a fan of this game. Like, it's giving you all of the like wrong things that you don't want, and it knows it is, and it's doing it to poke you. It's it's kind of amazing. That said, I'm glad something has finally, like, begun to happen with it. <laughs> Nagato, you two, hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? No. So although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to, the killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'll always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier it gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Also, welcome in, Chotu. Thank you for the lift. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Hope it's at least a good Friday. A, a good Friday. Have I got a laugh track? Nope, the laugh track isn't working. Wonderful. Imagine laughter right now. Is there a walkthrough for this game? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well, when you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Tell you? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know that thing that was displayed on the game over screen? Is that... Are you talking about the message that says down five? Welcome in, Star Duda. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm okay, thank you. I'm having a perfectly... A perfectly good Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Gonna mind that for all it's worth today. Hope you're having a good day as well. Uh, we're playing Danganronpa 2. We are on uh, uh, Investigation 2. Uh, we're currently about to play the arcade game Twilight Syndrome again. That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Oh. I mean, of course that's what it means. Then the hidden command is... You just have to press the down button five times. Okay. Thank you for the tips. I mean, should we call her Chiaki or should we call her Game Facts? It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. It's just you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagato got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Okay, right. So off we go. We're going to play the game again. Here we go. Oh, the screen changed. Truth edition. All right, let's play. Here we go. We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. 
Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By, press, by playing the missing first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. I'm playing a game within a game right now. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure a lot of it is going to relate to the uh, to the trial and the investigation. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're going to go home late because we had to look uh, wait for Slowpoke, girl A. Come on, girl B. You don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Ha! <laughs> the way girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Huh, is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. You should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A's getting really scared. Ha! Huh. It's fun to bully girl A. Uh-oh. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. Sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go! Now, before I carry on, I'm probably wrong, but I've got, like, this thing floating around in my head, and I feel like I should say it now, because if it is correct, then I'm going to look like a prophet slash visionary slash incredible investigator. The ultimate investigator, one would say. But I'm probably wrong, but i got to shoot my shot, right? So, thinking about the first game, right? I was thinking about the first game, and what was the second case in the first game? I think it might have been the one where, um, oh, forgive me for not remembering the name, but you remember there was a girl who was actually a boy and um, she made the laptop AI that later came in and, and helped them all like investigate and stuff. You remember there was a whole deal about like, there's a girl's changing room, there's a boy's changing room. Why were they in the wrong changing room? All that kind of like nonsense. I can't help but feel like I'm sure I've probably seen the same characters in the same room, but I can't help but feel that there's a connection between the 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 short blonde um, mafia guy, the yakuza guy, and the short girl in the kimono. They even have a similar looking face, and we know that um, uh, the girl who just died. Yeah, for Yuhiko. Now, we just know the girl who just died helped that little girl. I, I call her little girl. She's supposed to be the same age as the rest of them, right? But she's short and she wears a kimono and she's really nasty. That one. Um, she had some help from the redhead who's just died to shower, apparently. Right? So maybe maybe she knew the secret that, that the little girl is hiding, that the little girl is actually the, the Yakuza guy. But the problem is, I can't remember if I've ever seen them in the same room together. And I probably have at the start of the game, and I just don't fucking remember. But, like, he's always off doing his own thing, and we see a lot more of the girl in the kimono. So, like, in my head, I'm thinking, are they doing a similar thing to the first game, where there's, like, you know, there's a secret girl who's actually a boy or whatever, you know, you know. Like, I don't want to don't get into the specifics of it, because it wasn't especially sensitive to uh, to trans people at all. But... Um, it's just giving me that vibe, especially because we saw Fuyuhiko 
um, in the diner just before this murder, and we saw what's her face, um, the 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 one in the kimono, the short girl in the kimono, running away. Right. So, like, maybe changed and something like I d- I don't know. That's that's what I keep coming back to. But I would imagine at a class trial. That, yeah, they must be both at a class trial, so it, it can't be the case. It can't be the case. But like it's just tickling in the back of my head, so I thought I should say it out loud. Um I'm I'm not the world's ultimate investigator after all. <laughs> they they gotta both be at a class trial, right? Unless later on they like, you know, they, they pull the rug and they say, Have you ever seen them both at the class trial? And I'd have been like, No, I didn't notice. But I don't think that's the case, actually. I've talked myself out of it. But I just want you to know I'm paying attention. <laughs> right, we're going to the second floor. Oh yeah, all of the music in this game is is insanely good. But yeah, it's it's the uh, main theme, but like remixed with eight bit. It's really cool. Hoo hoo hoo! Try looking carefully at Class A during a rainy day. Interesting. Class A on a rainy day. Right, okay. Why did it let me go in class 1A then? Yeah, it's just going to keep telling me to go to the... Uh, to the second floor. But I'm glad I found like a little note. That was cool. Alright, let's go to the second floor. Girl E, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now, and then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. And because of the low poly of these characters, it rem it's constantly making me think of Final Fantasy VIII. Like the style of these characters is very similar to the Final Fantasy VIII models. Someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Welcome in Escape Route British. Ack! Ack indeed. Did you miss anything? So all you've missed so far is me investigating Mahiru's body and, and the beach house. And now we've moved on to the arcade machine. Um, Chiaki has told me the trick to access the real version of the game. So that's what we're now doing. We're now playing Twilight Syndrome Truth Edition. Mahiru rest in piss forever, miss. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we all, we all miss her. I also just espoused my massive big brain theory, which I'm almost certain is wrong now. Would you like to hear my big brain theory, Escape Route British? Because I'm proud of it, even if it's wrong. Okay. So very briefly, I'm sure I've seen them in the same room at the same time, but because of the way, um, you know the character from the first game who turned out, you know, presented as a girl, um, was a boy or Good what have you. There, buddy. Thank you, RNG God. I forget the name. Um, I was thinking they were doing a similar thing here, and I thought, I thought that you know the girl in the kimono, short, and has got like a kind of a round face, reminds me of Fuyuhiko, who I believe is the Yakuza kid, and I was thinking, are they the same person? Like they're both short, they both got a round face, they're both like mean, and. When before this murder happened, we were in the diner and we saw Fuyuhiko go past or something, and then we saw the girl with the kimono return from the beach. And, and the, the, the other linchpin of this theory was that Mihiru helped the girl in the kimono wash, so maybe Mihiru knew the secret. Yeah, that I mean, that's what I I, I had this massive brain, big brain theory. I was like, I'm the ultimate detective. Listen to this, folks. And then I remembered, I probably saw them all at the class trial. They, they probably were both in the same room at the class trial. <laughs> so it's really stupid theory. But I was like, 
I'm, I'm on it. Just give me a badge. Give me a badge and a gun. Because he doesn't usually come to breakfast, you know? He doesn't come to breakfast usually. He's always hanging around outside by himself. We don't usually see him. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, it's it set off my dangan senses. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, if that's the most praise that it gets, I'm happy. Because I'm trying to think outside the box, you know. Um, did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, someone's gone for the key. By the way, I was also just saying that all of these models remind me a lot of Final Fantasy VIII. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy. Then let's open it right away. Creek. Okay. Go lay. You lead the way. Huh, me? Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Welcome in, RNG God. You've never seen this before. Um, we're playing Danganronpa 2, which is um a visual novel game combined with Phoenix Wright. If you've ever played Phoenix Wright where you collect evidence and do trials, it's like that but with a kind of visual novel element added in. It's, um... Oh, right, okay, but this is a game within the game, right? So currently we're playing an arcade game within the game, if that makes sense. We'll, we'll be out of this hopefully soon, and then you'll you'll see what the game usually looks like. It's uh, where Monokuma comes from. Monokuma's too far away, I can't reach him. I'd show you Monokuma. Yeah, because apparently it's going to give us some clues based around the last murder that just happened, so... That's, that's why we're playing it. Right, we're going inside the music room. Twilight Syndrome was released in that era, so the similarity is not in... Uh, nice! Okay, yeah, makes sense. Oh, no! Someone's laying on the floor. This... She's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible. Why? Yeah! Lower your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered her? Yeah, and the terrarium as well. The terrarium's fucked. Seriously, shut up. What's going to happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should, what, what should I do? Take a picture. I see, so that's what happened. I found it, the killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? <laughs> <laughs> that works on two levels. There's no doubt the killer probably escaped from there. You mean the window, right? The window's broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, my, my bad apple. I just finished my bad apple, so I can't I can't down it, but yes. Cheers. Girl B had the most memorable lines. I think I'm playing as Girl B. I'm not sure, actually. So the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? I like bad apple. I think it's because I like apple juice a lot. And it's very apple juicy. Yeah, the orange one is okay. I don't think it's worth it for the fact that it's sh full sugar. Like, bad apple is nice enough and it's zero sugar. I believe it's zero sugar. No, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, yeah, monster, uh, bad apple. So, it's it's a monster variant. RNG God. I can't find it in shops around here, so I bought a case of it. It's not bad. Fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. Also, it was a fish tank. Yeah, sure, or somebody on the front. TikTok gonna stop. 
gonna throw in all my apples up. Yeah, they don't sell in any shops here. My favorite monster is, is Zero Green. I think Zero Green is the best monster, hands down. But I can get that readily where I am, so I, I wanted to try some of the luxurious variants, you know what I mean? I wanted to try all the weird shit that I don't get to usually try. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Yeah, well, I like regular green monster, but because regular green monster has got sugar in it, um, I tend to avoid it in favor of the zero sugar variant, which um, the green one is lovely. It gives me the shake sometimes. Yeah, I mean, some people get affected by caffeine and, and etc. sugar and that in weird ways. I've always found that caffeine, I could drink a monster and then go to bed. I literally could. It, it's never really, caffeine's never really affected me in a massive way like that. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside the music room, or use the lounge key. Yeah, same. I mean, in, in the morning, if I'm feeling sluggish, a monster helps. Definitely. But I could also drink that monster at bedtime and still go to sleep. So, the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Ah. Oh. Killer's escape route has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. <laughs> yeah, just you weren't expecting your name to come up so readily. Uh, see, that's not a problem with Garlips. My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole Girl E's school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped. Stolen school swimsuit has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? Yeah, gosh dang murderous perverts always murdering students. Well, apparently. And also breaking fish tanks. I mean, let's not forget that crime. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. <laughs> but don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. But that's not necessarily what happens, but okay. I get it. Healthy distrust of the police is, uh, is to be, you know. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it was. You do understand that's more suspicious though, right? Ah, hey, please wait. Don't leave me. Now loading. Third day. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're going to confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces means? This is so anime. Yeah, yeah. The, the main game is, is incredibly anime as well. Um, RNG. Yeah, hopefully soon you'll see what the actual game looks like. But this is the game within the game. That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this. Vase... And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You, you didn't say anything either. I knew, you know. I knew that the girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? 
No, she wasn't just tormenting you, she was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl E, d don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness. But things could have been worse if she'd woken up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault. Or yours. It's all her fault. Ah, girly! Wait up, girly! <laughs> oh dear. What? What's that? Guy F. That bitch. Girl E was it. Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this. If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that, I will never, I will never forgive her. Oh dear. We beat the game. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep, now you filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? Oh, it's this game! Yeah, it's this one. With the really good music. You mean like Girl A and Girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it, probably. What I want to know is, on the staff roll? Producer Monokuma. Director Monokuma. Supervisor Monokuma. Plan Scenario, Monokuma. Programmer, Monokuma. Graphics, Monokuma. Sound, Monokuma. Cast, Sumiki, Koizumi, Hyoko, Mioda, Sato, Kuzuriyu, Kuzuriyu. Oh. Producer Supreme, Monokuma. Wait just now. See, didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. I recognize the name Mioda, right? Was there other there were other names on there that I recognize? You finally beaten Twilight Syndrome murder case. Now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right. That game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. What? Is that true? By the way, Non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Gee, thanks, Monokuma. Hey, answer my question. But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. A school life? At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. Ooh, how disappointing. Yeah, apparently. So that's news. Yeah, apparently this is from our life at Hope's Peak Academy before our memories were destroyed. And I'm guessing the prize maybe was to have your memories back. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. I think... I think... What's her name? The one who died with the red hair. I think she played it first. Ending prize has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The ending prize isn't the problem, it's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that this time too. But is it really? Is it really true? 
There have been clues. We were already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten the game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we've got to focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Welcome in, Renji. How are you? Hope you're well. Thanks for coming back. It's, uh, it's Danganronpa 2 today. I don't know if you're familiar with the Danganronpa series, but uh, that's what we're playing. Um, you're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out some about something. About the mystery behind Mihiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Then let's hurry. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. So, we need to talk to the people hello on there. the list. Why, hello there, Hajime... Oh, sorry, I do a voice for this guy. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? No, maybe I'm being a little bit too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly... Simil similarly isn't a word I can say in an American accent. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well, there was an airport on the first island, right? I told him to meet me up there. Them? Don't know. Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Hmm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Okay, so we're gonna go. I think I've only heard the name, but I'm here for it. Well, first of all, welcome to the music, because the music is fucking incredible. Basically, in a nutshell, the Danganronpa series is i don't know if you've ever played the phoenix wright games uh renji but basically it's kind of like those it's anime flavor phoenix wright where you have a kind of a visual novel about students trapped in a kind of like a a death game where they've lost their memories and the only way to get out and return to their lives is to uh kill and get away with it so what happens is a character dies and we investigate and then we go to trial a class trial and we present evidence, and we get to the bottom of who 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 is the murderer, basically. If the murderer gets away with it scot-free, then they escape to their lives and everyone else dies. But if we solve the murder, they get killed. And that's basically how it goes. And there's kind of like, there's a, a background plot about hope and despair and all kinds of things. But that's basically it in a nutshell. And we're playing Danganronpa 2, which has kind of been playing with our expectations based on the fact that we are fans of the first game. So it's it's been really it's been a ride so far. Right. Um, let me just check in on my pet real quick. Yeah, doing good. Right. So where were we supposed to go to meet the others? I forget. Hey, hey. The airport. Right. Okay. Let's go to the airport. On the first island, I could skip, but I like kind of like powering up my pet. So we're gonna run there. It was probably quicker to go the other way, but oh well. It's more steps for my, for my pet. Now 
Okay, let's check on the pet. Nice and clean. Right, looks like we're going to investigate with the, uh, the people who were involved in the game. <laughs> ah, Hajime, over here! Mikan, Ibuki, Hiyoko are all here. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Seanji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Monokuma had said something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> a lie? Grr, you tricked us. What the heck? Fine, then I'm leaving. Can you wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like, I'm on the same team as Nagato. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information out from them. Alright, let's talk to everybody, shall we? It's a pineapple. Oh, Chalky's here too. Yeah. Right, let's get a summary of the game again. High school students. Girl A, B, C, D, and E. There's also Guy F who appears in the end. And the guy, high school girl who got killed at the beginning, right? I can't believe my husbando tricked my two wifes. Well, there you go. During the game's first day, a murder occurred in the music room, and five high school students are the first ones to discover the body. However, they don't want to get involved, so they end up pretending they didn't see the body. On the second day, the murder case made the newspaper, and an article stated that a pervert was the killer. People never found out about the five girls, but in fact, Girl D had taken pictures of the crime scene. The girls were afraid that they'd be cursed, but Girl E got angry and ripped the photos to shreds. Next is the third day. Girl D summons Girl E and shows her a certain photo. It's a photo of a piece of a broken vase that was in the classroom next to the crime scene. Girl E gets really upset and throws that photo in the garbage. But Girl E didn't know that Guy F recovered the photo. Well? And finally, the fourth day. Girl E hears a voice saying, I'll never forgive you, and dies from a blow to the head with a battle bat. Hey, hey. That's about it. Yeah, thanks. That was a big help. Okay, that was actually helpful. She kind of summarized it very well. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were... Yeah, I already read those. Jeez. Alright, who should we talk to first? Mioda. Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome murder case? Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mihiru? Huh? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mihiru was, um... Well, when I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us, she made the real disappointing face. A disappointing face? I see, I see. Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Um, let's stay focused on Mahiru. That's totally it. it turns out Mahiru had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, didn't ask. I see. The hero invited Ibuki. Why? Okay. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? No, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mihiru? Relationship with Mihiru? I first met her, um, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. 
and after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Oh, could it be? Did Mahiru hate me? Oh, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Hmm, invite? Um, Mahiro invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious, and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline, because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Wah! Mahiro invited McCann as well. Why? Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, it seems like Mihiro also beat that game. Why do you know that? You don't know. If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But, still... but in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mihiro would play that game. It's true, that was unexpected. Nagato, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh, what? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mihiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh, why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. That's disrespectful towards Mihiru. There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... More importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's been quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mihiru spoke to everyone who appeared in that game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko. <laughs> yeah, just, just gave her a little push. Off the cliff. You know, she, she wanted to jump. <laughs> yeah. She wanted to jump, I just gave her a little push. Um, she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So, I'm just going to go back to my cottage now. That's fishy, but, like, is she the red herring? Because, like, I thought it was her the, the minute I saw her running from the beach. I was like, it's her. But am I just being... Is it just red herring? Ah, hey, Hiyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushing. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. She might have that. Ah, the prize. Yeah. Interesting. Yoko just like me, she just like me for real. Oh dear. I've seen you in kimonos. That's your cue to say yes. Right, okay. Um, is it worth talking to these guys again? All right, let's go to the cottage. I'm just getting a bit more on my, my running.
It's very slow going now. See? See it creeping up ever so slowly. That'll do for now. Get let inside, please. Moving after you're told would be too third rate, so I make sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. Right, okay, so we're not allowed to take anything. Right, well, first off, there's my hidden Monokuma. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. That proves Mahiru was here, but she's not coming back. Then I should try looking for a naughty book. What? Why? Yep. Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Yeah, I see it, but first... No. We found him! These photos, Mahiru must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Even in this situation, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? There are lots of plants in here, though. I think that's it. Alright, let's look at the thing on the bed, then. See? What you're looking for is on top of the bed. Oh, jeez, I thought I'd... Right, okay, fine. Don't take anything from the cottage. Takes Monokuma doll. Hey, those don't count. Hey, hey. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. Photos. This is a photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late. Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Entrance hall photo has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Look at this photo too. This is the photo in question, the broken vase. Who's this? This is the girl who died. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room, if that's the case. Could this be the photo of the first victim? You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. Interesting. Oh, one more. Ah! This is the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. Yep. Why were people dying, like, before we came to the island? That's a bit... Okay. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So based on all these photos, yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. 
This is the ending prize for beating Twilight and what's depicted in those photos. Proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you did, what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mihiru. Someone else sent this to Mihiru. And that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Ooh. Mihiru wasn't just lured there by Nagato. She also received this envelope. And that's why she played that game, right? Then the person who played the game first. This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. What do you mean him? Nagato? Do you mean Nagato? Hey, hey. I'm glad we came here to investigate because we did that. We discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mihiru, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. You saw someone with that file last stream. Ah, interesting, because I don't fucking remember. Right, um, I'm actually just going to pop for a wee real quick, because I have a feeling we're almost at the end of the investigation. So um, I'll want to power through straight into the trial. So I'll be back. Two minutes. Oi, I see you posting memes. You think while the can is away, the mice will play, huh? Disappointed in you guys. Right. Okay, I guess we're, we're leaving now. <laughs> Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Now, now. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. No. Huh? <laughs> just kidding. I was joking. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did you find out who those blueprints are? Uh, footprints even, not blueprints. Uh, if you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course, you'll come with me, right? 
I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can get a clue... What are you going to do, Chiaki? I'm going to try to talk to Fuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So I'll leave this to you. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him... It, oh, wait. Yeah, that is him. It'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually? What do you mean? Bye now. Let's go! I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. Right, okay. So that's where we're headed. That's such a kind smile. Yeah, but he wanted to help the murderer. On the last murder. And then, now, he wants to help anybody. It's like... I don't trust him. I'm sorry. Oh, what's happening with my pet? Oh, man. It's turning into something. Whoops. Wrong button. Back to island number two. We're about to level up our pet. There it is. Oh my god, only five steps. Two, three, four, five. Whoa, it's a Monomi! Cute! It can fly! Of course it can. Well, if you recall in Danganronpa 1, so-called good guy Byakuya intentionally sabotaged an investigation for funsies. I'm sure Nagato-sama has his reasons. Well, yeah, I agree, and I didn't like Byakuya in the first game for the exact same reason. I mean, apart from the hoity-toity, silver spoon up his ass kind of, like, nasty, constantly mean uh, persona, there was also the fact that, yeah, he did fuck about a bit. Didn't like that either. The pet I got in this game was the fucking worst. What? Really? What did you get? I've got Minomi or Usami. It says Usami. Oh yeah, because she hasn't been made into a Monomi. I'm the, a literal piece of shit, really. I had a snake the first time, and then it grew up, and then it left, and it said goodbye. And now this is my second pet. And this time I've tried to keep the hope meter... Um, at max and the despair meter at zero um, in the hopes that it would do something but I don't like like it, it was a short time okay so, sort of 98 to 2000 where I gave a shit about Tamagotchis and I had a Tamagotchi alright but like ever since then digital pets have done nothing but fucking waste my time Beep, yeah, Beep hates video games. Famously on records. <laughs> Makes video games and then hates them afterwards as well. Um, you should all search um, Beepsoft Industries. Is it Beepsoft? On, on, on Steam. Because you can play some really cool games on Steam that way. You had a knockoff Tamagotchi and it ruined your life. Yeah. That's kind of my memory of things as well. I don't know if I ever had like an official Tamagotchi. It might, I think we did actually, eventually. But the first couple were just cheap knockoffs. Definitely. Oh, it's Gundam. So you have <laughs> That's fair, but hey, you're still working on it. So good for you. What I'm looking forward to playing it, actually. That's just running, right? Can we wishlist it yet? Have I already wishlisted it? I can't even remember. 
I'm, I'm a bad friend. Um, there it is. Have I wishlisted it? No, fuck. Right, let me fix that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Everyone, go to Steam and, and wishlist start running. That would be very helpful if you could do that. Right. Oh, I guess I could link it. Hang on. How do you link from Steam? I don't fucking know. No idea. Um, how do I share it? Right click. Oh, of course. Easy peasy. Oh. Wait, did that work? No, that's to the picture. <laughs> that's to the fucking picture. Whoops. There we go. I'm a doofus. <laughs> you really shouldn't believe in me. I barely got a grasp on things as it is. Okay. You're welcome. I already assumed you would come here. There is nothing you can hide from me. The Supreme Overlord who wields the four dark divas of destruction. This guy and his pet hamsters. I mean, I appreciate that he's got a persona built for himself, but he's annoying. Thus, I know everything. For instance, I happen to know your fiends. Oh, you fiends were preoccupied with your infantile beach play. It matters not, for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's it. That's precisely it. I see. So he wanted to be invited too. Ah. Now it makes sense. You love Gundam. Um. That's fair. You know, everyone's got their favourites. People who rub them the wrong way, people they like. I like I like pink hair yellow jumpsuit guy. I mean he is a bit of a bit of a perv and he's kind of eyeing up my second waifu. My 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 what would you call it? Like my plan B waifu. Kazuichi Soda. You like Bingus with the toes out? Has he got his toes out? But yeah, I like Bingus. He's kind of... I kind of like him. He's, he kind of gives me... um. He's not like Leon, but he gives me Leon energy. He's just like... Like, just that same kind of guy. Just energetic. Um, and very friendly with me for some reason. Even though I probably don't deserve it. Bingus with the toes out. Let me click this link and see what happens. Oh, yeah! Yeah, Bingus with the toes out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone changed his name on the wiki to Bingus at some point. Oh, right. Okay. I just thought that was a fun name for him. I mean, it, it works. It, he looks like a Bingus. Right, come on then, Nagato. Let's try going inside. Oh, it's Sonya. Nagato. Well, why the hell are you here? See, Miss Nevermind is, is my backup waifu. My first waifu is Pico Pico. Pic, Pico Pico. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Oh, this bastard. See? See? This I, I like this guy. <laughs> Sonya V. Good, yeah, from the from the king, the Novoselic Kingdom. Every time it's gonna make me laugh. Every time. You two have arrived at a good time. Big news! I've discovered something very terrible. I mean, yeah, big news. Terrible discovery. Um, not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mika. Yeah, this is great. It looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Ooh, okay. Right, so who should we talk to first? Let's talk to Sonya. Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's the big news? Remember that Sun Witch Esperito mask that was next to Mahiru's body? Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. And what was it for? Sparkling justice. Huh? 
Since Barkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice, whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. This sparkling justice character, that's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... Huh? A serial killer tied up in the second case. Why does that sound familiar? Like... Like Toko, right? Was it Toko? Toki? Toka? Toko? Toko. It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Sun Witch Esperito is a pretty witch girl. See? A heroine. Shh, escape route, shut up. Well, I have noticed that there are lots of, you know, like elements and, and kind of like similar themings. Um, I think that's probably genuinely designed to play with you if you've played Danganronpa 1 to like fuck with your expectations. Anyway, so you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru? Which means there's a serial killer hiding amongst us. Amongst us, he said it! He said it! He said the thing. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. This is stupid. Serial killer my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face. That's weird. <laughs> there it is. Edamogus. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonya, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete. Justice complete. I mean, that's what we should say at the end of every trial, to be honest with you. I'm gonna make a, make a motion to... To, to, to always say that at the end of a class trial. Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! What the heck was that? Well? That is sparkling justice's catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. Wait, did she have a file? Someone had a file. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However, However in the end, that journalist was punished by sparkling justice too. No good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, this is all I know about sparkling justice. Thanks to the masks, no one knows their true age or gender making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen. No, it does not mean that they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mihiru. Wow. That's probably not possible. But that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia. I do, I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. True. Alright, who should we talk to next? Let's talk to this guy. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Hey Hajime, are there fewer drinks inside that refrigerator? Yeah, it looks like someone drank them. Is there a problem with that? Want me to tell you? I'll think about it if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes, you know. You're joking again, aren't you? You caught me? Ah, oh, you caught me. So what do you think is strange? Well, if you look closely, there are no colorless drinks inside the refrigerator. It's like there's someone who rather prejudiced about what they drink. Um, is that what you're wondering about? And here I thought you found some kind of clue.
All right, let's talk to everybody. Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out Mahiro was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Um, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um, there's no doubt she died instantly. So she didn't crawl. Her death was instant. That sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. No worries, Renji. Thank you for the lurk. Um, and thank you for being here. I appreciate you. It's, uh, it's been lovely. We met some really nice people this week. Uh, Renji being one of them. Um, you're more than welcome. Next week, like, I'm just saying up front, next week I'm absolutely going to be doing Banjo-Kazooie, probably on Monday. Uh, I'm going to try and do the whole 100% of the game in one sitting. So we'll see how that goes. And then learning the speed run, plus more Dangan as well next week as well. And also, if I can get the, um, I downloaded a version of Only Up, which is a game that is, you can't even buy it on Steam anymore. Um, but I've got a version of it and hopefully it works because I want to play that for the first time and maybe even start speedrunning that because I have some friends who do it as well. So it'd be nice to kind of get in with the friends and do it do it together. So yeah, um, hopefully next week will look like Badger kazooie Only Up, and Danganronpa 2. Good stuff. Mikan's autopsy report has been added to the truth bullets. And there's another thing I found. Ah, I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Are you busy right now? Just tell me. Um, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiru's pocket. Oh. It seems... I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The plot thickens. Welcome in, Briella. Yes, it absolutely does. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Yoko Seonji. This letter. If this letter is real, it would mean Hyoko met up with Mihiru, right? Plus, Mihiru's estimated time of death was around 3pm, and they met 30 minutes prior. Yeah, well, I, I, we figured she was lying, but I still think she's the red herring. I think she's too obvious to be the murderer. But we'll see, we'll see. If we think about what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mihiru and Hyoko? Obtain truth bullet. There it is. Okay, what else? Who haven't we talked to yet? Oh, we need to talk to him about the footprints, right? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out who those footprints were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard. He did something shady again? Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well... I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagato squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. Oh, I would imagine that he is, um, what do you call it? I would imagine that he is measuring the shoe sizes of everybody. He's going to see who the shoe sizes belong to. Thank you for the tip, Briella, but no, no more help, please, because I need to work it out myself. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. I've already looked at the refrigerator anyway. Um, after all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Yep, he's taken everyone's shoe size. I see, so the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hyoko Seonji. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Like, they are playing it like, it's definitely her. I'm like, press X to doubt. Hyoko's. Well, 
To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to get back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hyoko's footprints. Okay, well I guess that's gospel then. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. Oh, candies. We found a candy in the uh, closet. They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes this brand of gummies. They should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who will only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. Do you see what I mean? Now, now it's like, oh, she only eats the same brand of gummies, so maybe she only drinks the same brand of drink. Do you know what I mean? It's like nail after nail in the coffin of it being her, which makes me think that it's not her. It's too obvious. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case, coming from this guy, that means. It probably relates greatly to the case. Gummy bag has been added to the truth bullets. Ding dong bing bong, folks. We've made it. It's time to amass for the class trial. The time for unparalleled hedonism <laughs> has come to an end. Come. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle. I mean, I, do, I, I don't know. Like, it, maybe there's someone who just, like, drinks monster cans all the time like if that person just drank monster cans like if they just drank one energy drink called monster like i wonder what that would look like i wonder i i wonder if they would drink any any different energy drinks that weren't monster i i look a bit like a slob right now don't i but the joke's on you because i do drink other energy drinks <laughs> So it couldn't possibly have been me, officer. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these all down now. Note to self. Tidy my fucking office. Don't let them know how you live, Gollips. <laughs> they are, in my defense. They are nice designs on the cans. Hey, let's start the game. Oh, yeah. Drink Pepsi for TV game. The hostility of fresh blood. The insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. It's time. We'll meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. We've done this once already, Monokuma. We know the drill. <laughs> now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation's over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. All right. Now then, let's go prove it. <laughs> ah, what's he so excited about? Ding dong bing bong, it is time, boys. It's time. Hang on, I'm gonna get my monokuma. We gotta have the monokuma for the class trial. At the f trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press. F Did you clip me with all my cans? <laughs> Fuck's sake! Thanks for the clip, RNG God. Definitely doesn't make me look like a slob. He couldn't possibly be Garlips. He drank all the monster cans. <laughs> anyway, sir. So. Let's focus on the case, shall we? <laughs> right. Off we go, then. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Monokuma Rock? 
Is it on the main island? It's on the main island, right? Oh, no, it's on this island. I'm already on the central island, right? Yeah, it walked me back. Okay, fine. Monster. Maybe the name monster means something truth bullet added. <laughs> Seriously, right? So I'm gonna... I've set aside the month of May to learn Blender because I want to make new stream visuals. And Blender is the way that I'm going to make what I want for my stream layout to look like, right? So I'm going to learn Blender. Now, the first thing I'm going to do when I learn Blender is I'm going to make, obviously, my stream overlay visuals. But the second thing, the second thing I'm going to make when I learn Blender is I'm going to recreate a class trial room. And I'm going to make, like, a thing for the stream that looks just like a class trial. So that I, when I get green screen, because also I'm going to be putting a green screen across this whole wall. Um, I've got all the bits, I just need to actually take the time to clean up in here, as as you saw. Clean up in here, and have the, uh, put the curtain rail across, um, which I need to drill for. But yeah, so I'm going to have a green screen behind me, um, so I could easily be put into a class trial, like behind one of those desks, with like my face in the corner, like vibrating, going... It's going to be great, I can't wait. We should learn Blender. It's um, it's good to learn Blender. Because I think we could really make some very cool visuals in it. Where the fuck is Monaco Rock? I completely fucking forgot. Isn't it on the central island? Turns out the monster cam was a 11037 <laughs> moment. Hey, call back to the first game. Like it, like it, like it. Um, right, so hang on, let me check my map real quick. Yeah, we, we are on the right island for Monica Rock. We're just taking the long way around. Okay, that's fine. There it is. Right, it's trial time, everybody. As she knows. He's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Why are you? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Hey, stop harassing little girls. This is what's going on. Yoko was yeah, we haven't seen much of Nekamaru this this trial, have we? At this murder even. Maybe he was off somewhere shitting himself. Hyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hyoko was still trying to run away, so Monokuma was trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you a part of this island's food chain! Jeez, making me waste my sweet ass time! But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he totally ditched! He totally ditched my appointment! He pisses me off! Ah! Monokuma? What the fuck?! Okay. Muscle Kuma! I'm right here. It's Muscle Kuma. Of, of, of course it is. Ah, Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still. Also, there's my theory short shit. Like, officially. I'm a y Yakuza! Accepting defeat is not an option! Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Well, it's all good. If the heat trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway, anyway, it looks like everyone's here, so let us depart now. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. Yep, no one's ready for this. Now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. That's right, I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Right, let's go then. Fuck it. I'm waiting. You're so evil. 
<laughs> yep, let's go. Let's let's just get it get this show on the road. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. Off we go. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were in inside, uh, inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair, as if my heart was a rotten fruit swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. He is handsome, though. He is, like, Muscle Coomer is, is genuinely handsome. I suddenly stopped breathing because I saw Muscle Coomer. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Aim. Defeat the boring routine. So I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible. It's not like it'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. I mean, I do like the uh, the Sky TVs. Uh, to go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate, really? What is your true intention? No, no. Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. Kill time? Yeah. To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Lie. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. Here we go. It's starting. Class trial is starting. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photo photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her is among us. He said it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... It was you! RNG! I'm sorry, friend. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to reveal you during this class trial. Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so... This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. We are going to save. I don't expect to lose the class trial, but I might. Because they always like to introduce new shit. Um, right. Set skills. I don't think... Oh, I do have a new skill. That's right. Greatly increases influence gauge. Right, well, we'll, we'll equip that, obviously. In fact, that's the only skill I've got. So, we will equip that. Thanks. Okay, I'll look forward to that then. Let's go. At least I won't have to read much during the class trial. Let's begin with a simple That's my favorite thing about a class trial. I don't have to read as much. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That what? Who cares about that game? Outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. It's true. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try to Who could have that thought that the one thing that, that Monokuma introduced to the island and told us definitely not to play would be the thing that was the thing? I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome murder case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. 
Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Characters in the game were Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, and Boy F. And the high school girl got killed at the beginning. By using the staff roll up to clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. Meta moment, yeah. The first character the player was able to control was Girl A. The true identity of Girl A is probably... Oh fuck, I don't remember now. Was Girl A the, the wimpy one? I really wish I'd paid attention to which one sounded like which. Based on the list of names in the staff roll, I can't think of anyone else who would be girl A. Why am I in a video game? That's an infringement of my right to privacy. A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Nice. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard. <laughs> yeah, that was in the game. Too. Oh fuck, was that girl B? Or girl C? I, see. I think we're going in order. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. Yeah. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. <laughs> Definitely a buki. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Really? Really? Excellent. For anyone who doesn't know, that was a reference to the word cunt. Correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. I see. Hazariu is his Aren't surname, right? F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuri? His sister. Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. Yeah. It's the dead girl from the, the start. Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryu? Because Guy F is the sist the the brother of the girl who died. It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game. I mean, yeah, I don't understand a lot about this game. You know, the Twilight Syndrome, but I do understand that at least. Damn it. Oh, it's younger sister. All right, fine. That he has a little sister. Right, I forgot the little part. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. Wait, Kuzuryu had the um had that document wallet, had that envelope. When we met him in the diner. Is that right? Am I remembering that? I think I'm remembering that now. I'm pretty sure he had it. 
It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little... Oh, it was outside his cottage, but yeah, okay. Right. Plus, I remember... I remember it now. Game. That's why the name Kuzuriu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuriu, play? You probably noticed, right? Yeah, we have to say it. I see. It's testing my knowledge of this fucking game. I could answer a whole quiz on Twilight Syndrome Truth Edition. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Yeah, it's it's good for us to iron all this out and get it, like, uh, cemented up front so we know exactly what was going on in the game and how it relates to the people here, even if none of us remember it or understand. Like, at the very least, we, we kind of understand what the motive is now. Why do you sound so for someone like Kuzuriyu. That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Raising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is. Yeah, I have a little sister. There's something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. Mate, I've got some bad news about your sister. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the movie. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she's the type to die easy, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. We don't believe you, friend. Quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Yeah, he, he literally represents us as players. It's like, we don't want it to be that, like, easy to solve. So that's what he represents. It's kind of amazing. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mika. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. So who's girl E? And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Oh, right, okay. The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. Okay. Hey, no one cares about Yeah, that. shut up. Even talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? E-girl in Danganronpa. His sister is canonically a cockroach. Harsh. My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way. Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why Girl E was killed! Wait a minute. 
Gully is the one. Wait a minute. The one taking the photos. Girl E is the one that was killed with a bat, right? So in this instance, the girl killed with a bat is Mihan. But she's girl D. Is that right? Or is it the girl E died in the past two? And now it's being relived. I'm so confused. I see. The reason girl e was killed yeah, was yeah, that's what I thought. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school. Because girl. the whole thing happened in the past. That's what the game was. It was kind of an obfuscation, a kind of like a an analogy for what happened in the past that we don't remember. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But, but, it, is it, is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Oh, well done, Chiaki. Nice. I like it. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. <laughs> Hell yeah! Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view. So Welcome in, Incin Incinray. Prime suspect, by the way. Well, at the moment for me, I think the red herrings are for you, uh, for you, Hiko, and the little girl with the kimono. What's her name? S S Sai Sayoko. That's her surname, right? What's what's it? What's her first name? I feel like those are the ones that we're supposed to be looking at, so like it makes me think that it isn't them. Hyoko, okay. Hyoko Sionji, that's it. Hyoko. So I mean that's who we're supposed to believe it is. I mean, there's also that whole thing about like um if you remember, there's that whole thing that happened with me and is it Akane? Um, the girl with the tits. <laughs> you know the one. Um where we proved that if someone stood on the shoulders of someone else, um, that they would be able to escape through the window. So is, the, is there a possibility where Fuyuhiko, Fuyuhiko and um, Hyoko worked together and um, Hyoko escaped through the front door and Fuyuhiko escaped through the window? Is that possible? It's possible, right? Maybe they work together as accomplice. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the case. Rule one of Danganronpa you gain nothing being an accomplice, but you also. Like, if you're accomplice, you don't... Like, you didn't actually kill the person, right? Because, I mean, technically... What's his face? Um, Nagato was kind of an accomplice in the first murder. Sort of. I mean, you could argue he was. Um, one man's trash is another man's bearer of children. Fair enough. Nagato is just crazy. I agree with you there. Absolutely. Girl A, girl B, girl C, and girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. You mean, oh, I don't need to read this. She's reading this. Dead from 
blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yeah. Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Yeah, but who went for the key from the office? Was it her? She could have just ran to the office with the key in her pocket and pretended like she picked it up. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one Oh, who Girl D went to get the key. Get the key to the music room, right? That's a spanner in the works. By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, girl E broke the window and escaped. Why do we care about this? Because... Because... We need the real murderer. Um, yeah, but, like, the, 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 the events of the game are, are important to the events in, in this game. So we need to work that out so we can work this out. And sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then, forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that Girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? Right, okay. Here we go. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school? To the front of the music room. To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four? And wait in front of the music room. I think she went round the outside and came in the other room. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best. I reckon she broke the vase coming in the window of the the, the room that was alongside it. But I don't know how I prove that. I want to say broken vase photo on this one. So how did Girlie get to the front of the music to go back to the music? You need to go through the entrance. Plus, at the entrance, the other four girls should have been... At the entrance, I heard the sound of the window shut. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music? She probably used a hidden passageway. Yeah, see, it ain't that. What am I trying to prove here? After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from out, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance Wait a minute, why is, why is shoot my... Truth bullet. Triangle, that's where I'm going wrong. The other four girls should have been at the entrance hall, they heard the sound of the window shut. No, that's wrong. Yes, I got it! I know what I was trying to prove. First 
of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. It was the vase. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom. Oh, okay, I'm completely wrong. So I'm completely wrong. <laughs> she didn't climb in through the window and break the vase at all. She broke the vase to make it sound like the, the killer had just left. That's what she did. Here is probably the most forgettable Dang and Romper character, by the way. No interesting personality, talent, or cause of death. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really get to know her much. I'm looking forward to after the game when I play like the infinite summer mode or whatever it's called in, in Danganronpa 2 and get everyone's like full complete uh, dates, go on all the dates with all the people. Um, it'll be interesting to see what her character is like to, to actually spend time with her. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Oh, that's true. Murder weapon. Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you got to stick with it to the end. What the heck? You're so annoying. Fine. 100% Danganronpa stream. This keeps up. I'm gonna feel like <laughs> the amount of shit you've got to do to get all of the trophies on, on Danganronpa 1 is so annoying. I've been playing the minigame every so often in my spare time, but like it just takes forever to, to search for all the materials you need to make all the things. Oh my god, it takes forever. Um, I got most of the trophies for Dangan 1, and I'll get most of the trophies for Dangan 2. Um, I'm actually playing on Danganronpa Trilogy right now. So... Basically, um, Danganronpa 1 and 2 are part of Reload, which has got both games in it. So the trophy list is actually for Danganronpa 1 and 2. And I do need to finish them. I think I'm literally just missing a couple from Dangan 1. Oh, that's Alone in the Dark. Uh, Danganronpa, here we go. So yeah, you can see I've got most of the ones for 1. I just haven't done all of that, and I haven't done Schools Out Forever mode as well. Um, and then, oh yeah, all of these are fine. And then I think this is, yeah, these are the these are the second game. So I don't want to be looking at those in case they're spoilers. Um, quick question, favorite character so far? In the first game, um, hmm. in the first game, I quite liked well, I mean, I liked Toko until she turned out to be Genocide Jill. But even then, I kind of liked Genocide Jill because she was an interesting character. Um, in this game, I like um, Soda, the guy in the pink jumpsuit. Uh, no, pink haired yellow jumpsuit. Um, and my waifus in this game are Pico Pico, Pico Pico Yama, and um, Miss Sonia. Sonia, never mind. You like soda as well? Yeah, I, there's something about him that's just likable. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able I'm guessing it was the uh, the fish tank. The fish tank is the murder weapon. The white noise in the non-stop debates. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. 
durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer. But unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear yet. Okay. I heard there's a guy named Gun something. Oh, Gundam. Apparently he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Oh, that's cool. Um, will you be playing Ultra Despair Girls? It is my plan to play all of the games, yes. I, I own them now. I have all of them. I think even the, um... Uh, even the whatever the other one's called. What is it called? I've got... Obviously, I've got one, two, and three in this. Um, I've got Ultra Despair Girls, and I've got the other one. Whatever the other one's called. I forget its name. But I've got all five. I don't need a better silencer. I can, I can shoot multiple times. It's fine. Right. It's the broken fish tank, by the way. Inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Think you talked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Is it? Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to Oops. death, it should have had blood stains. That's true. Was there a weapon with Fuck. Blood stains on it? She no. beat her to death with her fist. What a pit in the game. Inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? The it's the swimsuit. The it's the swimsuit. She smothered her. Wait, no, because there was blood. Was there blood? That's too big to be a weapon. I thought I just had a big brain moment for a second there, and now I'm now I'm second guessing myself. I was like, she smothered her with the the swimsuit, but that doesn't make sense. Because wasn't there blood? Was there blood? There wasn't blood. Yeah, welcome in, Renji. This is the uh, the trial. Yes. The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that biggest scale. I think it's the swimsuit. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fist. Where do I fire the uh, the swimsuit though? A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Oh, that was the no. She attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that bigger scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. No, that's not it. Is there blood in the game? What was the weapon then? Damn it! Maybe I have to use someone else's argument. What about like, broken glass? Isn't the cause of Wait, death? how do I pick up someone else's argument? I don't think I can. Not like in the first game. Yeah, I can't take agree points. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducted. It's on that bigger scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them, it should have had blood stains. Okay, I'm just making a, a mess of myself here. I need to have a think about it again. I need to have a think about it again. What bullets have I got? What about broken glass? 
us. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Think you talked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even? An investigation can... It's on that big escape. How about beating her with gravel instead? Damn it! It's the weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? There was gravel in the fish tank, right? That's too big to bend the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation can it's on that bigger scale to How about beating her with gravel instead? No, that's not it. Damn it. I'm just flailing now. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the think you talked to with the fish tank? That's too big to be a weapon. In the piano. I don't know why the broken fish tank is too big to be a weapon. It's on that biggest... How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Damn it! A weapon inside mm. Time's up. That's the end of the class trial. I fucked it. That's disappointing. I would like to retry though, thank you. Right, let's really try to think about this. I'm gonna listen for clues. Inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universe. It's on that bigger scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. I didn't see blood stains in the photo, I don't think. Did I? A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? Yeah, I don't know how to agree with something, though. I've forgotten how you agree with something. Just shoot. Right. Think you talked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. So something agrees with blood stains. Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Maybe it is the swimsuit. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Think you talked her with the fish tank? That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation. It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them, it should have had blood stains. Nope. Think unconventional weapon. Blue, you can agree. Orange, you can't. Oh, I see. Inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Nope. <laughs> I'm starting to really flail now. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death? Think you talked her with the fish tank? 
That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had. Was there a weapon with? She beat her to death with her fists. With her fists. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even the investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to, it should have had blood stain. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fist. Oh my god. I feel really dumb right now. What about broken glass? Damn it! A weapon inside the What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death thinks you attacked her with the fish tank? That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. I thought it was the swimsuit, but what am I supposed to use the swimsuit on? Oh, thank God it's not just me. Because I feel real dumb right now. And I've lost the trial again. Uh, my first thought was kill them with the swimsuit, but I just like, I don't know where I would apply it, is the problem. I was like, maybe they use the swimsuit to murder them. We need a harmonical underwear. Ibuki is saying the right things. Right. Meat on the bone. Yeah, I remember the meat on the bone. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Think you talked her with the fish tank. It's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even? The investigation can. It's on that big a scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat, it should have had. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists. Fuck! Damn it. I felt sure that was it. A weapon inside the. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death? Then she attacked her. That's too big to be a weapon. The piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal. It's on that bigger scale too. How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. Right. Okay. Oh, what if there was gravel in the swimsuit? Gravel in the swimsuit. Bang! Really? My goodness. I got it right. <laughs> Just as I thought, I'm chosen by the gods. The snooker ball's in a sock. Snapped in my vagina. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right. Yeah. So I mean I was on I was on to something with the swimsuit thing, but the problem is I didn't think about gravel and I didn't think uh, I couldn't work out where to put it. I thought I was going to suggest that she was smothered or like, you know, uh strangled with it or something. But then I remembered the head wound and I was like, "Oh right. Yeah." If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it make an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic Nice reference. Like for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. But the real important talk begins I'm glad we got now. you there, Monokuma. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually 
Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Yeah. Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. Yep. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I, I somewhat understand that feeling. You can? That's pretty scary. But Girl Lee was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Was it, um, Guy F? Yeah. I see. It should have been Guy F. F for you, Hiko. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but Guy F is... What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. It would be, but also it's a murder that we're not investigating. <laughs> it's a murder that happened in the past. in the game. <laughs> Do you remember this incident? That is, I'm terribly sorry, but they don't remember. That's obvious. Because their school memories were like totally stolen. Even if I don't remember, I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy. Sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. It's the bat, right? I can prove it with this. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way to avenge the first victim. <laughs> hey, I think Fuyuhiko is like the obvious... The obvious person who's supposed to have done it right now, so I'm I'm still not convinced. You better cut that out right now. There is no way a stupid game could be the motive. You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game, and that's why you killed her as revenge. If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just gonna go around in circles. And it's true for you, Hiko may look suspicious. Don't you think that'd be too obvious? Exactly. Thank you, based waifu. What? what are you... I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. The trap What do you mean? The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for you, Hiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? <laughs> Isn't that what happened? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. Oh, the music is so good. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. Where are you even saying, you nasty? 
nasty toilet clog, you bitch! Wow. Sorry, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, trial. <laughs> Yeah, you did. No, uh, you're lying. We saw you. Plus, we've got your footprints. Wait, no. I, I, I agree with. I agree with that. I can only agree with blue things. There it is. I missed, but I still managed to get it. No, that's wrong. Get wrecked. You should have been at the beach house, Hioko. Seriously, I told you I didn't. But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints. They're probably Mekons based on how ugly they are. I thought the music, mate. The music is so fucking good. I think Mikan is capable of killing a fucking bug. Mikan is like the biggest wet blanket I've ever seen. Although she can do autopsies, so, you know. I'm sure you guys are being very opaque, but like, please just make sure that you don't give me any hints, even by accident, okay? Hmm. So you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. Yeah, I, I feel like they're straying towards like hinting at other stuff, and I just need you to not do that. Yeah, please, please don't. I mean, you've not spoiled anything for me explicitly yet, but just. I know you're excited. I absolutely get it. I'm excited too, but this is my first time, okay? Thank you. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. No, you said something about me can killing in her sleep, which I don't know, maybe that's a reference to something. Yeah. Thank you, beep. Appreciate it. <laughs> MVP. Sure we probably can. There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. So we've got to prove that she's lying about what exactly? Let's listen to the argument. I did go to the beach house. Right. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not! Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? 
But we saw her leaving. What, why isn't that a truth bullet? Oh, we've got, yeah, we've got the invitation, haven't we? The invitation. I knew what I wanted to prove. The note on me hand said, um, only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? Oh yeah, it's signed from her. I forgot that. Yeah, we all saw you. Thank God someone's bringing it up. Finally. I was like, we saw this. Why are we not? Why are we not talking about this? Thanks, Soda. Finally. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around three. Oh, I like I like Gundam's voice. Yeah, Gundam's voice is fun. <laughs> I remember I was looking at all the girls. But I mean, if the shoe fits or in this case, you know, shoeless apparently bingus i think 3 30 p.m is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here you're wrong you're totally wrong now that you mention it you also passed by the diner for your ego so you should have seen Hyoko too right no i didn't I like that he has little hamsters, and that he's he's very he seems very intense, Gundam. It's just a coincidence but poetic with it, you know. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. Yeah, you don't have uh, what you call it, an alibi. It's the truth. Deal with it. But then he does spend a lot of time on his own, so... Well, if you'll check the handwriting... Hmm, the only place I can think of where Hiyoko was hiding is probably that place, right? Yeah, of course. In the, in the closet. We found gummies. The place where Hiyoko was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the oven. I like that they're bear shaped. That's just fun. Your favorite candy is gummy. Okay, now of all the things that have been said here today, that's the most bullshit. 
We literally found shit ton of it in your house. Fuck's sake. Bang to rights. Arrest her. <laughs> Kyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My four dark gavers of destruction didn't even need to come out. It's all too neat, though. and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. She is so, like, she's so into this. <laughs> no, that mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all. Yeah, Escape Brute's been open about this. I don't like her personally. She's annoying, but you know, it takes it takes different folks and all that rubbish. <laughs> Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Welcome in, Sergeant Coconuts. That's a good name. Who's your favorite of the cast so far? Um, well, waifus are both in shot right now. It's Peko Peko. And um, Sonya, never mind. Um, I'm warming to Gundam. We've we've got some Gundam fans in the chat. Um, yeah, I don't like Nagato either. <laughs> Why you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. I also like Soda as well. He's a bit of a goof, but I like him. You also like building Gundams. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. <laughs> I think the pink hair yellow jumpsuit works, personally. It's stylish. He looks cool. True that Hyoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. Fucking love this music. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hyoko is the sinner who killed Nahiru! <laughs> There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, yeah, I've played the first game. Room for one oh, more. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome on in. Also in the this is my first time through, though, number two. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by its body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. Right. Yeah, we need to find out. I render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Kyoko is the sinner who killed Nahiru. I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. 
You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beach side entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. I don't know. I don't know where the hole is to poke. I shall render my Which verdict hole? upon this mystery's conclusion. Kyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Oh, I got it. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road. <laughs> no, that's not it. Damn it. This might take me a while to crack again. Kyoko is the sinner who. I'm telling you, it's a trap. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Kyoko is the sinner who... <laughs> There's no doubt. You went to the beach house. Uh, okay. And weren't you also hiding in the... So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road. Hang on. I'll be with you in a moment. So you were forced to flee from the beach I need to think about this for a second. All right, I'm going to have to have a think about this. Let me catch up with chat. Um, welcome back in Sinray. Honestly, just like, don't worry about it. All I want to say is Hyoko is not an easy target, but one that kind of deserves it. Oh, yeah, she absolutely does deserve it. She's, I don't like her. She's horrible. I I think it was the whole, the the me, uh, the me comment before about um, Mikan or whatever her name is. Um, since you have all the games, will you be falling down the Spike Chunsoft rabbit hole? Maybe AI the Somnium files. I, I, I possibly. I've seen my friend Mr. Matt play some of, I think the second AI Somnium file game. Um, basically, there was like some kind of baseball stadium, and he was doing some kind of investigation. I wasn't really paying a huge amount of attention to it. Um, that's nothing against Mr. Matt. It, it was just extremely anime, and I, you know, it was kind of hard to follow. So. Um, I don't really remember much about it. So maybe at some point. I mean, I do like this kind of game. Um, so totally. Um, Killer's Escape Route. I resent that. Favorite trial in the first game? Um, uh, what, 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 what was my favorite trial in the first game? Um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D don't tell me what to do unless I explicit explicitly ask for help. Don't worry. I, I will turn to you and I will say, please help me tell me what the answer is. Don't worry. It's it's all part of the experience. Um, I think my favorite trial in the first one was maybe... I liked the Sakura one. Like, with the whole kind of, like, running up and down the stairs thing. Um... Uh, that was a good trial. Um, please don't tell me... Uh, yeah, yeah. The answer is don't play Dead of Night again. Oh, God. I remember Dead of Night. At Dead of Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a bad time with that. One of my most, like, watched clips comes from that game. Hang on. I'll, I'll go find it real quick. Um, Like, that game has got bullshit jump scares to the point where I was like, I predicted it. I was like, I'm about to get hit by a, by a jump scare. Here it comes. And then it immediately happened. And I was like, fuck's sake. Told you. <laughs> um, filtered by recommended. No, let's, let's have all. Um, right. So when did I play at Dead of Night? It was about a year ago, I think. Let's go back some. 
Where is it? Oh, God, it was more than a year ago. No, it was about a year ago. Um, is this the one? Copy link. Boom. There it is. Um, hope it's one of the ones I took. Yeah, I think oh, I think you and Big took the same clip, possibly. <laughs> um, you'd love nine nine nine. Yeah, I played I played like the first hour of nine 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 back on the DS because basically my DS I got like um one of those region carts. Um, I can talk about this now because Nintendo can't sue me because statute of limitations, right? So I had one of them DS region cart things, and um. So I, pl I played like a lot of DS stuff, but I probably played only like a, a few minutes of each DS thing and then put it down and said, oh, I'll come back to this later and never did. Um, I do have the nonary games on. There's a nonary games port on the PlayStation Network. I've got that. I've actually got it on disc. I think I've got the physical. Um, I've played Ace Attorney on the DS. So I played that first DS game where I think it's the first like it's the first couple of GBA games or GBA cases, and then there's one extra DS case that was just for the DS. I think that's the game that I've played. I haven't played any other Phoenix Wright games ever, um, but I do have the digital like HD collection thing on PSN. I don't know what games that includes, but I do have that on uh, PSN. So yeah, I would love to do Ace Attorney as well at some point. And I've got I've got nine 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 nonary games. I've got Zero Choice Dilemma. I've basically picked up most of these when they were on sale. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using those. Right. Okay. I really need to think about this now before I carry on. So what am I gonna do? Render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Oh, the music goes hard. I just don't see a hole in it. That's the problem. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. I think it's something to do with the fact that there was lots of drinks in the, lots of drinks in the bin. Ugh. Shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Nahi. I'm telling you, it's a trap. This is the dumbest non-stop debate in the whole game. Yeah, I can. F I feel that. <laughs> render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Nahi. I'm telling you, it's a trap. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, okay. And weren't you also hiding? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time the dog was in the road, it was blocked by the body. Blocked by the body. Why the body? No, that's not it. And that's how you left your footprints. Fuck. Right, I'm just going to really think about this for a second. What are my pieces of evidence again? I shall render my verdict. Right, so I've got Killer's Escape Route, Gummy Bag, Trash Can, Footprints on the Beach, and Yellow Gummy. Killer's Escape Route. Sorry, just realized what you meant. The killer is escape route. Um, 
Well, I can try. I can try. If I get really frustrated, then I will. Then I'll ask for a pointer. But I can try. Um. Yeah, it's it's yeah. I like everybody calm down. I will crack this nut. I will, I will. I just need to go to my mind palace and have a little thinky poos about it. <sighs> He's Detective Gollops. Uh I'm the ultimate. I'm the ultimate detective. Um, all right, what what are the things that I can shoot at? Upon this mystery's conclusion, Yoko is the sinner who killed I'm telling you, it's a trap. Right, so telling you it's a trap. I'm going to write these down. I'm I'm going to a good old fashioned pen and paper. Fuck it. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot. I, I, I don't know why Instant Raid just constantly wanted to argue back. You gave them a warning, and then you gave them you gave them a timeout, then you gave them another warning, and I, I feel bad because like, but you don't. Why, why are you arguing with with not only me but the the mod? Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Instant Raid, but you you got yourself to blame at this point. Um, it doesn't surprise me at all, Beep. Also, welcome in, Ads. Um, sh should we take a very brief, a very brief break from the, uh, from the, the game for a second so I can show you something that arrived in the post? The best ones are like people who come in and role play as Junko's left ponytail. Wow. Hang on, I'm just gonna, just gonna remove doxable information. Hang on a second. Give me a minute. Because something arrived. And I just want to remove doxable information before I uh, show you. Um, but my pen is running out. Do you know what? I'm just going to rip it off. Hang on one sec. No worries, Escape Route. I'll try my very best. Thank you for being here. Hope you have a wonderful afternoon slash evening. Also, welcome in ads again, like I said, but still, welcome. Looks like I came in at an interesting time. You did, because I received some mail yesterday. Right? And it came... It came in a bag that's got yellow spots on it. Can you see that? Can you see the yellow spots? What could be inside a bag that comes with yellow spots? I will show you. So I I bought this because when I saw this, you just you, you see something like this. Like, there he is. There's the man of the hour. Oh no. It's blobby. It's blobby related. So I I I saw this and I had to buy it, okay? Are you ready? You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. So I was on Etsy, I was on Etsy, and I saw this, right? This is Blobby. This, this is, this is, this is Blobby. Yes, I bought this with my own money. First of all, why would you make this? <laughs> why would you make this? It's, it's one of the most cursed things I've ever seen. Second, 
I was like, I have to buy this because I'm a Mr. Blobby speedrunner. Anyone who doesn't know, I play a game called Mr. Blobby. I speedrun it. In fact, the world rec- record was taken from me today, and I need to get it back. But yeah, this is Mr. Blobby. Um, he's just going to live in my office now for the rest of time. In fact, oh my god. Oh my god. We, we can... We, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop! Um, but I also got some stickers. Hang on. I got a sticker as well. I got a little... That was a freebie. And I got a lollipop as well. Isn't that wonderful? This person actually does like a, a blobby cardigan. And I really wanted to buy the blobby cardigan so that I could wear it while I speed run the game. But um, it's expensive. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet. But I'd, it might happen in the future. Garlips. <laughs> Am I about to be told? I'm about to be told, like, Gollips, Gollips, stop buying cursed items. Gollips, you don't have to play Mr. Blobby. You, know? you, you can walk away anytime you want. What if you got a crazy frog... Pl- oh, no, right, you're doubling down. Put the Blobby dick and balls on it. Do they sell crazy frog plushies? Oh, God. All right, let me let me have a look here. Um, eBay. Crazy frog. Um, I might have to... Yes, they do. They absolutely do. There are official ones. Oh my god, there are so many of them. I literally went to eBay and it's like there's there's hundreds. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on a second. Um, am I still on the big screen or am I hang on, am I in chat? I'm on chat, aren't I? Right, okay, good. Um let's get Mr. Uh Well, I'll try and get this up for you here. <laughs> try and get it up for you. Um, I don't think this shows doxable information. As long as I don't scroll... No, even then, I, I, it doesn't show doxable information, so it's fine. All right, give me a second here. If I go into studio mode and briefly turn off the game. And then... Out of studio mode and go to this. Look at these. Look at these. This one looks pissed. He looks really angry. This one looks like he's just taken something that's, you know, it actually made him chill out quite a bit. This one's just loving life. No, none of them have dongs, but this is the, this is the thing, Beep. Because I've got a dong. So, you know, we can, we can do exactly what you... Oh, my God. So the eyes wiggle. Like they're, they're, they're the kind of eyes that move around inside. I don't know if you can see that. Can, can you see it? Can you see the wiggle? I can hear them. Oh my God. What have I become? What have I become? My sweetest friend. I bought myself a pink dick. And. It's, yeah, it's, it's over. It's all over. <sighs> there are so many, there are so many. Oh, also, by the way, I've got Crazy Frog Racer for PS2 and I have Crazy Frog Racer 2 as well. I've got both Crazy Frog Racers. Crazy Frog Racer is kind of hard to play. And there is a speedrun community for it, unfortunately. So that's great. <laughs> right. Anyway, <laughs> they made two. Yes, they made two. Who knew? Right. Let me get rid of, after all of this excitement, we need to actually get back to the trial. So, uh, let's do that. Oh, hang on. Right, so, I can, I can reply to, it's a trap. What else can I reply to? There's no doubt. You 
it's the beach house, right? <laughs> and weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. Don't you forget, you're my number one customer. Oh, thank you, Beat. Thank you. <laughs> it's a crazy frog dong. Um. Oh wow! Good luck with your programming assignment. Thank you for thank you for spending some time with us. I appreciate it. I hope you have a a, a really good uh, programming assignment. The intersection of cursed stuff. Yeah, the, the, it it is. So you can suck the lolly and then the blobby. I can. Sorry, I missed that comment. Ads, but that's a golden comment. That's that's one for the ages. Um, okie dokie. Right. So I can put evidence on it's a trap. It's when you drop the gummy. What else? Locked by the body. What have I got? Room for one more. Oh, thank you for the follow, Briella. I'll shoot that right back at you. Right, so I think... I'm going to work this out by process of elimination. Can I look at the evidence? I can't, can I? No, not while I'm in a trial. Oh, whoops. That's not even the right button to... Shoot the truth bullet. Fuck's sake. I'm gonna get it this time. The one thing I will say is I didn't learn my lesson with the first game. In the first game, literally the only thing you gain from playing on hard is that you've got to do harder mini games. And I learned nothing from from that by continuing into this game by also having it on the hardest difficulty. Mystery's conclusion. Piyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. Based on the fact I've got two pieces of evidence that relate to the gummies. I think it's something to do with the gummies. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Piyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. There's no doubt you went to the beach house. And weren't you also hot? So that's when you dropped the gut. You waited for your chance to and afterward you fled from the What's the next thing? Oh the body. Yeah, that doesn't really apply to that. So you were forced to flee from the and that's how you left your footprints. Look, the footprints are absolutely hers. That's not in question. That's one hundred percent. The killer's escape route. 100% was through the front... Well, certainly Hiyoko's only way that she could go was through the front door. So it isn't about the escape route. I tried yellow gummy on the gummy thing. I didn't try the gummy bag actually. There's no doubt you went to the beach house, right? But I literally don't get how that would work. Like why it would be that's when you drop the gummy. No, that's wrong. Is it that she would have dropped the gummy bag? Is it the same colour as the ones on the packet? Yeah, I felt like it was gummy related, but that's that's process of elimination, right? All I could think of was that the footsteps aren't in question. The way that she left the house isn't in question. So it's nothing to do with the body against the door. Um, what was the other thing? Trap. I've got nothing to go with trap at all. So it had to be the gummies. But I don't even understand how it's the gummies. Like, uh, but hopefully it's going to explain to me. <laughs> you're a midget too, you know. You're the one who 
worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. Oh, so is this a different gummy to the ones in the gummy packet? The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? It could have been an orange gummy, though. Are we supposed to believe because it's yellow, it's not, it's not the gummy? Orange gummy is disgusting. <laughs> okay, so it's not a spoiler for anyone, right? But I absolutely fucking love Twin Peaks. And in season three of Twin Peaks, right? Um, it's not a spoiler to say that they're going through the evidence from the original, like, series. Like, in, in season three, the, the people in the in the sheriff's, in, like, place are going through the old, the old evidence, right? And... Included in the old evidence was some chocolate bunnies, right? And Lucy eats one of the chocolate bunnies. And so, like, Hawk, who's investigating, keeps going, Is it about the bunnies? It's not about the bunnies. But is it about the bunnies? And he just does this for, like, four minutes. And that's what it reminded me of, is, Is it about the gummies? <laughs> no, it can't be about the gummies. But is it about the gummies? <laughs> By the way, Twin Peaks Season 3, Wild Ride. Highly recommend it. Oh my god, so... Okay, right, I don't know if this is just me. Okay, but I've eaten things that are orange flavor that are yellow colored. Okay? Like... You should have picked... A much more different color if this was the the evidence hinged on this sounds like British problems <laughs> okay maybe it is a British problem I don't know I just feel like right if 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 this entire trial boils down to it was a lemon gummy not an orange gummy the difference in shade between orange and yellow is so minute that I just, I have problems with it. I have issues with that. I, I, mm. Anyway, I should, I, I solved it. I solved the case. I shouldn't be, but it is annoying. <laughs> wow. And that will keep you out of prison. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Then we can't assume Hiyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. Can't believe that that was it. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! <sighs> Damn it! Who would set a trap like this? To get my revenge, I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid, I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! But Yuhiko doesn't usually get this involved during trials. Or, or, or ever. Okay, now what have I got to prove? Oh god, the gummies are back. and block the door to the road thanks to her we have the evidence we need that's wrong i left those footprints during my morning walk we're not done with yoko mikan's autopsy report said that she didn't she died instantly so it's got to be it's got to be the last of her, use the last of her strength. Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door. Fuck! I missed it. We have the evidence we need. That's what I left the footprints during my morning walk. 
It's got to be this. It's true. That's and we can take. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and. No, that's wrong. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Yeah. I'm actually gonna have this fucking lollipop. You know what? Why not? I've earned it. <laughs> If I can open it, fuck. Welcome in, Zarian. Enjoy your effing lollipop, mate. I will, thanks. <laughs> Hope you're well. It's in a heart shape. Isn't that lovely? Just one more thing. What flavor is that? It's like a sour watermelon, it's nice. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! <gasps> I'm sorry! Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. Only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used your body to block it. Someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. Seriously? That's not... Let's assume Hiyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. Exactly. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... I fucking pulled it off. My lollipop died. Uh oh, here he comes. We haven't decided that yet. No, I was trying to um. There was residue on the stick, and I thought, hmm, it tastes good. I'll have some of that residue. Hey Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that you shut up? I'm telling you, she's the killer. That little bitch. It... Oh, here we go. Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her bot. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. I forgot how this thing worked. If Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Oh my god, how do I beat that? If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko... She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Oh, I've only got a certain amount of cuts. Oh, okay. Oh, I've missed a cut. I've never had a corn dog. Can you believe that? Again, to quote Beep further up, British problems. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. What? Why didn't I kill it? Mahiru didn't block the door. 
Kyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her, but Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Oh, do I need to slow it down? Right, okay. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Kyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Nope. I hate this. Corn dogs are amazing. To this day, the best one I had was at a fair I went to out on the west coast. I don't know what it was. They do them differently out there, but man, I, it is my sincerest wish to try a corn dog. I, I do believe a corn dog is kind of like it, it's not quite breaded, is it? It's not a breaded dog. It's it, it's. I would imagine it's kind of like like a deep fried. Like a deep fried battered dog? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've never had cornbread, see, so I, I just I can't equate it. I don't have a, a reference point for it. We have in this country battered sausages, which is um, it's like a you know like a batter like you would use for a pancake or something, um, and they're dipped in that and then fried. But batter is not quite the consistency of cornbread, I would imagine. Cornbread is probably a bit thicker than that. Cornbread is life. <laughs> I haven't had any, so clearly my life, my life is a sham. I hate this. Can I change the difficulty? Then Hiyoko did it. Probably not during a trial. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. All right, I'm gonna try again. I'm sure I can crack this. It's a required dish at any family gathering. I always have mine set aside for me. Otherwise, there will be hell to pay. I mean, that's fair. I've got stuff like that. But, yeah, I've just never had cornbread. It does not make... No, 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 no. I'm exactly the same. We... So, in this country, instead of... Um, we, we make a batter, and then we make a thing called a Yorkshire pudding, right? A Yorkshire pudding is like... A, basically a batter pudding. Um... I'll show you real quick. Yeah, I might change the difficulty after I finish this section. But um, let me just show you what a Yorkshire pudding looks like real quick. These are... Oh, hang on. Studio mode. Source... These are Yorkshire puddings. Um, I need... A, no one eats my Yorkshire puddings, you understand? Like, I'm exactly the same. Like, I will have all of the Yorkshire puddings you will give me, and then I will have more. Um, I will have all of the Yorkshire puddings, please. Thank you. Um, it's just batter. And usually, you know, some gravy is applied to the Yorkshire pudding, and some salt, and that's it. It's, it's just batter. But like usually made in one of these like cup cup trays. Um, but you can have Yorkshire puddings that are massive. Um, you can bake one in a tray like this as well. Um, we have a variant of um, Yorkshire pudding in this country called Toad in the Hole. Toad in the Hole is a big ass Yorkshire pudding with sausages in it. Big ass Yorkshire pudding with sausages in it. You're welcome. You should you should make it. It's it's fucking great. I love toad in the hole. I don't really eat like meat sausages. I use meat free vegetarian sausages, but they're it works just the same, baby. It works just the same. Yep. Love me some toad in the hole. It's one of my favorite things. So Right. Okay, I'm gonna really try this time to, to get this. <laughs> so when you when you talk about cornbread and having it put to one side, I totally get it. I feel exactly the same way about Yorkshire puddings. And arguably roast potatoes as well. I fucking love roast potatoes. Basically, if it's a carbohydrate, I love it. <laughs> yes, please. Right, here we go. I run out of cuts. I don't get it. I run out of cuts. Did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. 
Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. What am I doing wrong here? If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Um, yeah, I would accept a hint at this point, because this isn't even based around logic. I'm just clearly performing the minigame wrong. Like, I'm just clearly doing it wrong. So I would appreciate a, a pointer. Right, so I'm supposed to be double dipping. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door. Hang on, I need to restart again. Then Hiyoko, she killed and blocked the door. Hiyoko is the only. If Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Right. I was really close at one point. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Oh my god. Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. I was like one off that time. If Mahiru didn't block the door, and the, the second I miss one shot, I'm fucked. I can't, like, once I've missed one shot, that's it. Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. So there, like, I fucking did them all perfect. Like, I can't get more than... Yeah, I, you can't even hit two at once because they all come on separately. What does it say? Slash in the direction you press. Slash in the direction you press. Overturn. What does overturn mean? Hang on, I've been pressing X. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Oh, X is just a way to Hiyoko cut. Is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Ugh. Mahiru didn't block it, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. I almost did it that time. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed and blocked the last time I tried it, I did I did it with two, two cuts. But now I fucked Hiyoko it. Is the only... If Mahiru didn't block the then Hiyoko, she killed and blocked the Kyoko is the only When you slice twice in one direction, then once in the opposite direction, your last slice deals double the damage to the arguments. You should slice Really? Oh, that is very useful information, thank you. So, like, slash, slash, and then backwards. Well, it's got to help. It's got to help. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Yeah, I was close that time. I was close that time. Be helpful if I didn't miss at the start. And block the door with a Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If 
Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Remember to pay attention to the directions you need to cut from. The text is displayed vertically, cut from left or right. If it's displayed horizontally, cut from below or above. Right. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Right. Okay, I get it. I get it. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think right. of. Right. Okay. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko no, is that's the not that's not helping of. me. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru. And block the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Slice from above at least twice until the argument gets destroyed, then below from when the new argument appears, using the double damage to damage an argument for the first time. Okay. Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Fuck! Urgh, it's annoying. If Mahiru didn't block the door, this game is so annoying. Did it. This mini game in she particular. Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. The problem as well is I can lose it in the open, like the first second. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Now, some of the text is moving vertical. Some of it is moving vertically, yeah. That's the problem. So I think I try to do horizontal slices because it's moving vertically. But the problem is it moves like past the point of the vertical slice at uh, the, the horizontal slice. If Mahiru didn't block it, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Now I should have got I should have got that. I didn't miss any words. Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If you do down, down, down to kill, right. Okay, so that's where I'm getting confused. I'm using like the up to kill the last part of the words. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Fuck's sake. Right, that's it. Oh shit, shit. Um, so what who are God? Inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just watched it. The fact that Hyoko was at the beach house can be proven. But did you get all that, you bastard? No, he's wrong. He's wrong. Damn it! Right. So I need to know what I'm doing for the next phase when I get there. He's saying he used the shower, but the shower was out of order. So you couldn't use the shower. Didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. 
She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Kyoko. Oh, wait, this is. So I'm back on the original one. Hang on. Okay. Need to get that back in my head. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Kyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Right, I fucked it up, but I'm going to try and stop fucking it up soon. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Right, okay. Welcome in, False Zero. Then she should be covered in blood. What happened? In the sand. Did you get all that, you bastard? No. Wait, what? Damn it! If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and I'm gonna restart. Also, welcome in, False Zero. Be with you in a minute. <laughs> Just having a bit of a nightmare with this section. Uh, we're playing Danganronpa 2. I'm in the middle of a class trial, and uh, I keep failing because this minigame is not the best. Not even close to the best. Uh, at least I know roughly what I'm doing now, but problem is I get confused and muddled in the second part if Mahiru didn't block the door then Hiyoko did it she killed Mahiru and blocked the door with Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of oh I thought I destroyed the last word if Mahiru didn't block the door then Hiyoko did it she killed Mahiru and block the door with Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. Right. If Hyoko moved the body. Yeah, it is really complicated. She be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside after she moved the body. To just the fact that Hyoko was at can be proven by the footprints in the sand. Oh right, okay. So it's the other it's the shower room so I need to what, shoot at. Dumbass? Fuck off! Jesus Christ, why was that so hard? Oh my god, thank god that's over. Sorry everyone, thank you for bearing with me, because that, that was fucking maddening. That was maddening. I think that those mini games add almost nothing to the game. In fact, they ab actually detract from it. They're not necessary. Or just make a better fucking mini game. She can't. Well, I thought that was the answer. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's what I. S Same thing. Fuck's sake. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. I said that. What? Oh, yeah. She couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I, I didn't smell. It only smelled a little. <laughs> I can't believe that they, they were going to split hairs enough. Like, oh, she can't, she can't get undressed by herself. She can only get dressed by herself. Same fucking thing. Prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! 
I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, so basically, Fault Zero, this game is called Dang and Romper. This is Dang and Romper 2. And basically, the story is about a bunch of kids that lose their memories and um, they're stuck in a situation where they have to kill each other to escape. Uh, but the problem is, every time someone dies, we have to do an investigation and then we have a class trial to find out who the culprit was. If the murderer gets away free, then they go back to their lives and everyone else dies. Um, or we find the killer and the killer gets killed. And that's how it works. That's the, and it's very anime. It's extremely anime. If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiro's body. Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Because if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. That's true. I'd forgotten that. But she had a head wound. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. Doubt me of all people. You got some nerve. All right. I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. <laughs> I thought I said bowling for a second. Yeah, seems like it. See? I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. I don't remember writing a check for bowling. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Hyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Who's got the best fit? Oh, easily, easily, um, I think, um, Soda. I think the jumpsuit's amazing. Jumpsuit beanie combo with the pink hair. I think he looks fresh. Shut the hell up, pig bark. I hope you get a hangnail and die. <laughs> I'm sorry for being pig bark. Gundam's also pretty cool. He's got, he's got the scarf thing going on, the anime scarf thing. Hey, Hioka. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! So what the hell happened while you were there? Yeah, Explain. I got that already, so... Can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier? Yeah, she was lying. Damn it! So that was a lie? Yes, yeah, Ibuki. your answer to Mahiru's invitation. I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. Ooh. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same at 2pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Mahiru Koizumi Well, it would have been nice if you produced this a while ago. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Uh, 
It's the note that was in her hand. This one. Two o'clock. The meeting times are off. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be possible if one of them said, but for both letters to say the same thing. Hiyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? She's gonna say she didn't write it. Which led to the killer forge? Why not both of them? I see. Yeah, it's both of them. The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters, confirm. Just as I assume, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. What this part? I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part, it seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a like nether netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me, and then Mahiru's killer. <laughs> How mean! Give me back Mahiru. Really, this is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. <laughs> oh, Nakato's just bummed that he didn't get to help. You fucking cop. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Kill yourself then. Here we go again. Jeez. When we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him to death later. I'm a fan of this plan. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hiyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened? <laughs> I fell asleep. Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine, could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I, I saw Mahiru's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. I was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> Wait, so that means... Wait, the killer could have left earlier and just, like, brushed their footprints out of the sand, so... The killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Yeah. Everything was done to frame Hiyoko as the killer. That's horrible. I didn't do anything wrong. And I was framed by Mahiru's killer. Hiyoko, <laughs> please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive yeah, that's is fair. to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're 
wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Oh my god, shut Nagato up. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That He's gonna get there. What a class trial He's almost there, be. folks. Seriously, which side are you on? I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black nor gray. And you do not yearn for your life or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying. Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep! The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job! That's the right way! That's the splendid power of teamwork! Hey! What do you think of that, Manikuma? <laughs> he's gonna punch her. You have the outcome you want. Oh, he's gone to sleep. <laughs> Is that like that's even worse? <laughs> He's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Okay. Oh, we're getting like a mid-trial save point. Yeah, we seem to get these now. I don't think we used to always get these at the start in the first game. Now that the class trials reached its climax, I would like to present the answer right here, right now. You're going to spoil who the killer is? Oh, if I reveal the answer before everyone's ready, they'll all be shocked. They'll all feel despair. You can't. That's seriously a big no-no. But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... Ah, uh, you can't. Everyone, please close your eyes and cover your ears. Correct. You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. Um... Okay. Sometimes I feel like they just write a bunch of fluff. <laughs> We need to fill this space with about 20 seconds to a minute of text, so... Welcome back, Escape Route British. We have just resumed the trial. After getting halfway well, through it. Now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, <gasps> it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. In the shower room, presumably. There's nowhere to hide. It's not impossible. Oh, okay. But there was nobody there. Then 
Does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game, is that what you're thinking? If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the Logic Dive. During the Logic Dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. I really hope this minigame is good, Escape Route, because the fucking sword one sucks ass. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the R1 button. Press the circle button to break and the L1 button to jump. There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. So make sure you're familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also upon reaching a certain point there will be branching questions in the course. The answers split into different paths so please proceed down the path of the answer you think is correct. Branching questions will appear several times in one course, please be careful. Highly recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my meddlesome advice to you. If you press the option button during the logic dive, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck. He's right, this might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hyoka ran away from the beach house, then did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Logic dive. Oh, wow. So, L stick to move, X to accelerate, circle to break, triangle to jump. Okay. Oh, this is all right. It's just snowboarding. I think it's this one. Whoops. Oh, it's wrong. Okay, I see. I see how this works now. Exactly. I love I love snowboarding. Whoop. Oh, come on. I didn't fall through that gap. What? Fuck off. Question two, when did the killer leave the beach house? Before Hyoko left. Oh, I fucking got it wrong again. After he- yeah, they were hiding there, apparently. Even though she said she looked in the bathroom. Shower. Okay. I think I'm taking this awfully well. Where was the killer hiding while Hyoko was unconscious? The beach. Fuck! beach I think it's the only place right well no they said the beach house yeah but we just don't know where in the beach house they were hiding hey we did it it's all coming together. okay I understand how that works that's not so bad do you think the killer might have been hiding Oh, okay, it's based on a thing from Detective Conan where Edogawa Conan skateboards his way to the answer. <laughs> nice. You spent all that time thinking just to say something so 
pointless. How disappointing. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? 100% of the murders I've solved have been solved by snowboarding. Well done, Paul Zero. That's amazing. Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped. Just one more thing. Uh, watch this sick jump. What am I drinking? Um, I'm drinking uh, squash. So it's just a cordial. It's it's diluted with water. But I filled up a Tesco Zero Cola bottle. It's uh, it's squash. It's some um, Vimto squash actually. The pink Vimto squash. It's good. Okay, I've got a really crazy idea. Now, before I do this, I just want you to know that there was a thought process involved, okay? In case it's really, really stupid and dumb. Okay? But I've just had an idea. What if all the drinks were removed from the fridge so that there was somewhere to hide in the fridge? Okay. <laughs> Alright, look, I'm going to take it on the chin. I think, personally, you could sit in a fridge for a while. It's not that freezing. Hence, not being called a freezer. So where else could they possibly hide? It doesn't look like there's enough room in the locker room. Could they have hid behind this this thing? Under this thing? on top of the fridge in the chandelier no <laughs> it was a good idea though they were they were in the locker as well i thought surely she'd see if someone else was in the locker with her but apparently not the closet sorry not the locker after you woke up you said you rushed out of there right and you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully Oh wait a minute! Wasn't there a surfboard missing from its like, like its protective cover or something? Maybe they were hiding under a surfboard cover. That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. Yeah, they were inside the surfboard cover. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they Maybe the killer is a surfboard. I mean, it would be both radical and, and tubular and bodacious if the if the surfboard did kill someone. But then we have to consider the fact that extreme sports uh, uh, vehicles such as surfboards and skateboards are rising up uh, against humanity and, and you know, I don't want to entertain that possibility. It's too scary. I mean, no more Tony Hawks for a start. So no, no, no. It wasn't the surfboard. Is it the surfboard? No, it's not the surfboard. With the shelf it was on, it was 
pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. <laughs> yeah, well, let's hit the surfboard side of things. Hmm? Yep. Very close to you. Look, <laughs> there he is. Very close to you. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house. To make sure that they could frame it afterwards. The only problem we have is how the person escaped the beach house if they didn't leave their own footprints. Surely they would have needed two people to climb out of the window, unless they're a ninja. The killer has no feet! Your Honor, I put it to you that the killer... Removed his own feet as not to leave footsteps. Send him down. You're going to prison for a very long time, shoeless. <laughs> exactly. We've we've seen Bingus's feet. We know they exist. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. <laughs> hey Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange? Oh wow, he wants to talk to Monokuma. Is Monokuma still awake? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. Okay. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. Wow, even Nagato wants to get to the crux of the issue. If he's not wasting time, then you know something about As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Yes. This was an issue I brought up with the last murder. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that. It's basically what it's supposed to be. What? What's up with the two-faced teddy bear? This is Monokuma. Look, we can get three of them in shot right now. Monokuma is a little robot bear who kind of, like, runs proceedings. He keeps everyone, like, obeying the rules, basically. Kind of an antagonist, kind of um, there just to to stoke the fires and and wind everyone up a bit. You don't sound very articulate. There is actually a mystery about Monokuma because in the first game, Monokuma was being controlled by someone, and that someone isn't here in the second game. So the question is, who's controlling Monokuma now? Is Monokuma being controlled, or has Monokuma become his own person? We don't know. Like that. It's oh sorry, scratch that. It's beep. It's beep. Beeps the monokuma. <laughs> Mono coming. Oh no. So is he. Look, I mean, look, 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 look at the. He's vibrating right now, which means he's either telling a lie, or he's mono coming. <laughs> I know it sounds like an excuse, but the <laughs> body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. What is this like a get? Is this a get out? This is this is like, mm, yes. The rules are that three should find the body, but yeah, don't worry so much about it. It's fine. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that you're three or more. Deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, 
<laughs> At least he owns it. At least he's like, yeah, yeah, it, you know, yeah, I, 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 I don't have to, yeah, you know, loosey goosey with it. Flexibility, huh? Yeah. So what about this time? Is it three people, including the killer, or not? Jeez, fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. Who were we with when we discovered her body? We were with Soda. We were with... Pico? What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Yeah, no one had blood on them. Now that you've mentioned it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Now then, I shall explain to you the final feature in the non-stop debates. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the truth flashback. They're always introduce yourself. Always. Ugh, just let it be enough. If you hold down the triangle button, the shape of the reticule will change. If you aim at the remark's weak spot and keep it in that position, you'll be able to memorize it. This memorized phrase can only be fired once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change to a different truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or a mistake in your available truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. Okay. When's the best time to flashback? Well, you'll just have to trust your keen wits, won't you? This is very, very important. <laughs> very, 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 very important. By the way, you'll not be able to agree with anyone while you're using the truth flashback. Please remember that it's only effective when refuting points. Okay. Well then, good luck, have fun. So I'm guessing we do definitely have to pull pull a point here. What, did the killer what do I have to press again? Um... can't remember what I press to change the reticule. There's some kind of... Is it L1? No. It's... it's I, I literally wasn't listening. Truth flashback. If you target a weak spot and then hold down the triangle button... Yep, there it is. Thank you, everybody. Triangle Looking buttons. The blood on their body. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? Yeah. So washing it off would have been impossible. No, actually. They didn't have to use the shower. No, they could have used water from the fridge. Well, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and floosh. Nope. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare <laughs> I would definitely clog the toilet. Wow. You learn more about Nekamaru every t every time. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Bollocks! No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong. Suck my dong. They just needed to wash off the, blood. the water from the fridge. You could have used Gatorade. I hear that's good for blood. They could have just as easily used something else. 
Something other than the shell. Like what? Yep, it's the water. I see. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Can the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I seen through it. Wait, no, you're not supposed to contradict me. No. Pekka, what are you doing? No! Pico, no! Why? Why is it impossible? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator will use. What about it? Oh fuck, not another sword thing. Fuck. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try think one bottle too wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. Oh, fuck off. It's true there were drinks in the beach house, however, one bottle wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. Yeah, fuck off. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles. There were only flavored drinks. If you use those to wash the blood, will come off and your body will get it. will leave an aromatic, especially if you use the walk that alone with great suspicion. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. There were only flavored drinks with colored dots. If you use those to wash the blood, will come off in your body. It will leave an aromatic smell, especially if you use that alone with great suspicion. Right, so it's the first argument that needs to get shot. Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the river. Fuck off, Pecco. Did you check the trash can? There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. I understand. I, I, pref I like it now that I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. It's just the whole sword swipe thing. When I was facing off against um, Fuyuhiko in the in the first sword battle of this trial escape route, I had no end of fucking trouble until basically um, Beep and um, RNG God basically talked me through it and helped me through it. Was it was it also you, Sergeant Coconuts? I can't remember. It was a while. It was a while back. Yeah, it was it was Sergeant Coconuts. That's it. Um, like I didn't understand exactly how the sword fighting thing worked until Beep like kind of laid it out for me. I still don't like it, that was after the but I understand how to do it a bit but better now. The incident, there were water bottles in the fridge, and the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. That makes sense. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a sec. Now I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, the person would be. It seems you've realized who the killer is. Is it got to be someone who is wearing a swimsuit? See, just as I thought. <laughs> is that true? Let me ask, who might that be? If the killer used plastic water bottles to s wash off the blood that splattered onto them, the killer, Maruhiro's killer, must be that person. What person? I don't get it.
See, it could be her still. She could have washed the blood off her robes. Someone who was wet. I don't remember who was wet. Was she wet? She was covered in blood. He wasn't wet. He wasn't wet. She wasn't wet. He wasn't there. She wet. What? No, that's not it. Welcome in, Axe, by the way. She was. Oh, wait, from the. She was swimming! You're the only one. Fuck! She was swimming! Is it you? Swimming! She, she, that was her excuse for being wet, right? Ask you this. Why do you believe I'm here? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. I mean, who could forget? You know, it's, it's locked up there in all of our memories. I tried to swim to another island, but it wasn't possible. Care to elaborate? No. No, Pico Pico. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. They'd have to drench their entire body. We could just sit there and imagine that for a minute. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. Why are you trying to protect her? No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so What's going on here? She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite There's some funny business going on here. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. That's true. He did say that. He told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, well, it's got to be the window. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up for you, Hiko? You're not the suspect. Hiko is. Who cares about how the fuck? <laughs> yeah. you Your Honor, we move to strike that f bomb from the record. Okay. Was Fuyuhiko helping Peko as an accomplice to get revenge for his sister's death? Or the people involved with his sister? I don't know. We're not Yakuza in you. <laughs> no one's Yakuza in you, buddy. Just have an answer to that mystery. Let's see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. Killer's escape route. It really isn't. Honest, honest, Gov. The killer wasn't escape route. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is the window. The road 
roadside and beachside doors aren't an option. The only other thing I can think of is... Mystery solved. Well, nothing really. Except I think the escape route... The store. escape route doth protest too much. <laughs> Don't you know how high that... She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. What? Littering is not allowed. Yeah, I forgot that rule. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. How can I possibly be the killer? I was gooning in my cottage the whole time. Monokuma was there. He can vouch. from that window well we're all convinced escape route no they just have to use an object chiaki don't fall asleep on us we just said they couldn't use an object you did i thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object i see you don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body huh pekka was wearing a swimsuit remember where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! Well, Your Honor, have we considered that she she hid it about her person inside her private place? killer must have hit it somewhere. If that's the case, focus and think the object the killer used to escape out the window. Oh, here we go. Oh, is it beach towel? B E A C -A No, it's not Beach Town. Bamboo. Bamboo! Oh, wrong button. Fuck. Where's the letter O? Thank you. Bamboo! <laughs> Bamboo sword. Bamboo sword, motherfucker. Got it. Got it. Are you sure it isn't bamboo swat? Yeah, just one more thing. Where's the bamboo swat, huh? Bamboo yeah, just one more right? thing. She does carry a bamboo sword all the time. I love how they call this the new and improved Hangman's Gambit, and it's inferior in every way. Yeah, but I mean, I do like that. At least as a mini game, is not too difficult. It's not too insane. The sword one, I find. When you've only got a certain amount of like swipes, is very difficult. If I recall correctly, you had it then too. She did. Let us all remember again her in her swimsuit. You know, let the record state. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Echo used that bamboo sword as 
a step stool and escaped out the window. But Zord has a step stool? <laughs> that easily ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the hand guard as a step stool wow just like a japanese ninja miss sonia ninjas only exist in japan <laughs> you call bs mate you weren't here when we discussed the gummies okay the gummies were a crucial piece of evidence and if you think i'm taking the piss you could go watch the vod okay this entire case hinged upon the color of a gummy <laughs> how dare you i'm everywhere at once then you understand that this is not the most outrageous thing to happen in this trial not even close there's been so much bs this is relatively sane oh my god Well, Pecco, do you have anything to say? Now then, time has come once again for the Panic Talk Action, the PTA. Definitely not the Parent Teacher Association. Let's talk a little bit about Fever Time and Nega Time. From this point on, you'll be able to use Fever Time by pressing the R1 button during PTA. When Fever Time is activated, the tempo will be pushed to its max. That's not all. You won't miss during Fever Time either. By pressing the X button where applicable, you can destroy your opponent's verbal assault. But only until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Of course you're not the only one who can get the upper hand. There's something called Nega Time that your opponent can use too. If your opponent... Please stop making me say it. Your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit difficult to press the buttons in rhythm. So in that case, please time the rhythm not with your eyes, but with your ears and your passionate heart. If you can't clear it, you can always change the difficulty setting. I'm not going to tell them they'll have to redo the class trial for that chapter if they do that. Good yeah, exactly. luck there, buddy! Thank you, Axe. I should be alright with this one, because I'm quite good at this minigame. Hold on a sec, you bastards. She used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? She pulled it through with her. It would have been left in the shower room, and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. Who are you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Here we go. Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Wait, what are the controls? Oh, right. Lock on and attack. Select final strike. Circle is final strike. Okay. Let's try again. I fucked it up. If 
she used the bamboo sword as a step stool. Thank God. Right, it's done. Boom, bam, bam. Yeah, I, I fucked up the order. I pressed it too quickly. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. Yep. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. Pico, why did you do it? Pico, my beloved, why did you do it? said she's like a ninja but it's nothing as silly as that simply put only Pekko could have performed this feat an escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman oh he's gonna come even so how he loves the despair he loves the hope oh poor gollip's always falling for the cold-blooded murderers it's true though he's gonna what um this is nagato axe he he gets off on the ideas of hope and despair, and he's like, yeah, <laughs> escape route. Uh, we are the yin and yang when it comes to brothers, I guess. Because Nagato annoys the fuck out of me. Why is Fuyuhiko going to bat for her so hard, though? That's what I don't understand. You don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. It's fine. How about confession? Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness. Least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing. Here we go. Base Jackie. Can it wait until after the voting? Nope. This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question... I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Justice? Oh, yeah, the mask. We completely forgot about the fucking justice thing. In order to protect the justice of this world. Yeah, the sp sparkling justice. I've heard about this sparkling justice guy. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. He's... No, 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 no. Are you telling me for the second fucking game in a row, I have picked the fucking serial killer? What the fuck? I can't process this. <laughs> no. <laughs> You are having a laugh! Why? Why me? This is so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, why? Why me? <laughs> I promise, I don't always go for serial killers. What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. It's the red, it's the red eyes, isn't it? Justice is 
go for the red eyes every time. And the enduring moon, the protective father, and the Hello, Earth to Pecco. If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people. Welcome in, Pumpkin Blades. You're not a serial killer, are you? I'm pretty sure you're not a serial killer. Could you just confirm? Like, we're, we're just we're just trying a thing here. Could, could you just confirm, <laughs> Blades, that you're, you're not a serial killer, please? Depends! No, no, you're burying me here. You're burying me. <laughs> you're supposed to say no, darling. No, of course not. Where would you get such a crazy idea? Oh man. I will not allow that. It's it's fine, just stop it. Welcome in. Thank you, sweetheart. Not a serial killer. Good. Dodge that bullet. Justice must always be there to guide us. To shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! Wait a minute. Yeah, what is his deal though? You can fuck up a bowl of mini wheats. Does that count? I think it does, actually. In fact, I think you're wanted in several states because uh, you're a serial killer. So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. But what is going on here? Why is Fuyuhiko so invested? Okay. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. I thought you've been watching the whole time, Axe. You're everywhere, right? This should be. This should make total sense to you. <laughs> I can only imagine out of context, whatever the fuck. Like you'd be so confused right now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that would be me. Sparkling justice. No, I appreciate you. Thank you being here um this is sparkling justice now then let's execute justice <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> i mean that's a print screen right there Pego, what are you doing i am sparkling justice in the name of sparkling shining justice to <laughs> of course you have. What's going on? What's this? Chill. A Is Sonya with the uh with the reminder of the deep law? Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer. <laughs> Yeah, could you just say the word justice? Okay, right, copy paste, copy paste. You saved a bunch of money. She is supposed to be uh, huh? Ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Just like various items, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your glass. Justice should also be the same. I love the the emoticons in the you know in the text there. I don't get it, but but this is becoming really crazy. What the heck is this? Echo is the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. <laughs> Monica was asleep. <laughs> Time for you to be sleeping. Take a look. It's a killer. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think the chains actually are a great look. Yeah, I agree. You can pretend you're Ghost Rider, basically. I must 
not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. So why was Mahiro evil? No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiro is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... To protect justice, of course. Of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Echo, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. Okay. <laughs> I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. End it? He's right. This, we need to end this already. The killer in the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekka all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then... Right, it's time to do the comic book. Right, we haven't got that yet. Wait. Unless it's this one. No, we haven't got it yet. Um, in order to lure Mahiro and Hiyoko, right of letters. First one to arrive at the beach house was... The next one to arrive at the beach house was... I don't think I've got that yet. What did the killer leave next to the body? That. Now then, time to wash off the blood. Um, where should I hide? The first one who found the body was... Hyoko left behind a piece of evidence. In the closet after Hyoko ran away. I haven't got that yet. To retrieve the bamboo sword, I must do this. Oh, we're still missing a piece. This one supposed to go at the start. Right, there we go. In order to lure them, I haven't got a letter thing. Next one to arrive at the beach house. Yeah, it's not that. The killer leave next to the body. Baseball bat. Um, where should I hide? Surf cover. First one who found the body was. left a big piece of evidence. No, I thought, yeah, because it's not Yoko. There we go. And this gets tied on.
Um, where does this go? I thought that would be the baseball bat, it's not, it's the mask. Right, okay. There we go, footprints. Okay, right. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the mode. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. The killer? However, someone else overheard their exchange the killer the killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan by preparing a specific item they plan to manipulate the two's actions that item was the letters they sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hio. the letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2 30 p.m. The letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. Very clever. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived... Not clever enough! Good thing no one here is consistently late, I know, right? She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. At least she died instantly. Poor Mahiru. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body... <laughs> I am the Alpha and the Omega. I was both killer and victim. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. Bottled water. water that, were inside the that would have taken a while. <laughs> assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Because they can't litter. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. <laughs> nice and snug in the surfboard case. Just go for a little sleep. Just a little nap. Post-death, post-kill nap. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, 
She made plans to see Mayu, who lay dead right in front of her. In the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. The one thing I don't get is that, like, they're on a beachy tropical island, right? It's got to be warm. Like, this is enough time for her to dry. Like, it only makes sense if she'd showered after she'd got rid of... What's her face? After Hyoko had left, if she'd then gone and showered. That would have made more sense. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand. So they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily. Which is why the killer used... The bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. Giant robot mono beasts exist that can shoot lasers and you're arguing over how fast water would dry. Shake my head. I you know what? You got me. <laughs> that's a fair that's a fair and 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 robust way to refute my arguments, sir. Well done. You've convinced me. Um, I am absolutely desperate for a waz, so I'm just going to pop off real quick and then come back because I don't think I can get through the end of the trial and get to the save point without needing a wee. So I'm going to go right now, but I promise I'll be really quick. Okay. All right, sorry about that, folks. I am back, and we are kind of going to speed run through this because I have to do. That's the wrong button. Um, uh, so I'm going to kind of speed run through the end of this now, but um, we're almost at the end, I think. As long as they're able to reach the window, and so the killer left the beach. Speed run successful. <laughs> well, I certainly wazzed quickly. Let's put it that way. There weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. 
I did. I did speed run going to the BRB screen. So how about it? This is the truth. Complete. I see. What of it? She's like totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice. That's no reason to condemn me. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Let's hurry up and why was Fuyuhiko no going to bat for her? You can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? Um, actually, I've just had a thought. I've just had a... Give me two minutes, because I might be able to do something now that means that we don't have to, like, massively speed through this bit. So give, give me a second here. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. Um, basically, oh, welcome in, Jace. It's the Mr. Blobby World Record Holder. No, it's not, friend. I lost it today. <laughs> I lost it again today by three seconds. So I'm going to have to try and get that back at some point. But for now, it's it. Yeah, it's no longer mine. Them's the breaks. Uh, but yeah, we, we were just sorting out what we're doing for dinner. So sorry about that. But I am now back. And I will still be coming down. I will still be finishing soon, but um, at least we don't have to speed run the text boxes. I would love a Galippo Calippo. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive. You all must give up your lives. Uh, are you serious? 
Oh my god, it's the former future Mr. Blobby World Record holder. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I believe that hopefully I will take it again. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't know if you've noticed, Jace, but it's come down massively in the last few days. Basically, the past week, me and a new runner called Gekish have been constantly trading it backwards and forwards. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a whole thing. It's been a it's been a real tussle between the two of us. World record has gone from nine minutes something to seven and a half minutes. Wow, I've got to admit, and save my life to it's a pretty bold play to say, yeah, I killed her, so what? Oh, by the way, you should all die so I can live. That, that's a bit of a power play, I've got to be honest. I mean, I think I can take her if she wants to try. Well, I don't know. She's 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 a swordswoman. She's the ultimate sword fighter. He's so good. I think we should listen to what Sonia wanted to say. Yep, I yeah, we should listen to what Sonya's got to say. Um, pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Yeah, why was Fuyuhiko going to bat for Peko Peko so hard? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. That is true. However, as a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes That's her an true. enthusiast. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean. There's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Peko, right? Distinct difference? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! Yeah. That would be me. Sparkling justice! She's not said the, the catchphrase at all. Is that what he's getting at? Translate it. 
That means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. Oh. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... Spanish. From Spain? <laughs> <laughs> from Spain? Yeah, from Spain. Keep up, motherfuckers. Oh, okay. Okay. So why is she posing as, as Sparkling Justice then? When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice. <laughs> I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so. Heko, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. What? Uh-huh. Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. We're asking you what your purpose was. This guy's last contribution, if you remember, was You're from Spain? I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool? What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? Fuyuhiko. Of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice. I said there was an accomplice. No. Right at the start, I feel slightly more smart now. Also, thank you for the raid, Hobby Tan. Thank you, Beep. Thank you so much for being here for so long and um, helping me out with the, uh, you know, the rowdy people in the chat before. Thank you so much. Um. Gotta run and get some of the non-computer stuff done. Yeah, non-computer stuff is the worst because you gotta go places and do things. Ugh. Uh, but enjoy. Have a good Friday. Hello, Raiders. Yes, welcome in. Um, thank you for the raid, Hobby. I uh, hopefully you haven't had an advert, but you might well have had an advert, which is which is an issue. 
But thank you all for coming in. Um, shout out for Hobby Town. Let me do that. Oh, it already gave you one automatically. I don't need to do it. Doi. Um, welcome in, everybody. My name is Garlips. I'm a, I'm a variety streamer. I'm a horror streamer. I'm a speedrunner. Some of those things are even outside. What? Do, doing things. Yeah. Yeah, going outside is the worst. I try to avoid it as much as possible. But welcome in, Raiders. I hope Hobby had a good stream. What, did, what were you streaming, Hobby? Hope you had a good stream. Um, welcome in, everybody. I'm playing Danganronpa 2. Now, I must warn you, um, I think people might be locked in ads. Oh, no, maybe it's over now. Hello, Garlips, no ad for me. I hope you're well and having fun with Danganronpa. Yes, so the one thing I must stress right now is that if you want to play the Danganronpa games at some point and you care about spoilers, disembark. I won't mind. I, I totally get it. You don't want to spoil this for yourself. I am at the end of Trial 2 in the second game. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of... We're about to find out exactly how things happen. So if that's a spoiler for you and you, you 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 don't want to know it, I understand. Thank you very much for coming in on Hobby's Raid and um, take care. But if you don't care about that or you've seen it before, pull up a pew. We're about to um, about to hit some real weird anime shit, probably. Some 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 really funky stuff. Uh, but welcome. My name is Gollips. I'm a variety streamer, horror streamer, uh, speed runner as well, allegedly, and um, uh, you might know me from uh, uh, the Clock Tower stream team, but also um, Low Res as well, uh, which Hobby Tan has appeared on twice and hopefully will appear on again soon. I have a bad memory, but I'll be disembarking to get dinner shortly. Just wanted to wish you well first. Thank you so much, and I hope you had a good stream. Um, I didn't actually catch what you were playing, but I, I hope you had fun and uh, enjoying those lovely new visuals that you made. They're really good. Right. Okay, we're we're gonna crack on with this now. Huh? Am I wrong? Low res is pretty darn good. Yeah, I heard that it's free. That you can watch it for free on YouTube. God knows how they do that. I mean, they must pull some kind of like massively wonderful creative financial strings to be able to do that. To give it away for free, a product that you can watch on YouTube. I don't know how they do it. You should all go to low res and watch. Uh, uh, you should all go to YouTube and watch low res. Cool. Low res, you've heard of that. I've heard of it too. I think cool and smart people have heard of low res and watch low res. So you should too, because I mean, you're cool and smart, right? I've also heard that. <laughs> yes, from your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Um, you're Can playing you? Between Horizons. It's, just a tool. it's a cyberpunk space detective mystery game by the people who made Lacuna. Ooh, space detective sounds great. Ooh, that it did go well. Interesting. Between Horizons. I'll add it to the old list. Between Horizons. Champion. Alrighty. Hello again, RNG God. Welcome back. Pull up a pew. We, 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 we'll be finishing fairly soon, I would imagine. We're, we're kind of at the crux of this part of the story now. We're about to get the final kind of load deposited for us. Oh, also, by the way, everyone who's new in, take a look at my pink blobby penis. It's it's not against TOS. It's it's definitely not against TOS. Please don't ban me. Um, I just thought I'd share this with the group because um, it's something that I own now. Blobby, blobby, blobby. Anyway, Ixnay on, on the Gasm policy, nay. Yep, that was the crazy Etsy purchase. Uh, the coolest thing is that I got a free sticker with it as well. Look at that. Don't know what I'm going to stick it on yet, but I'll, I'll work it out. Okay, so who's that person? It's got to be for you, Hiko. It's got to be. You're the only one. Gollips, I would appreciate if you didn't 
uh, wouldn't wave your blobby in my face, thank you. Sorry. Sorry, friend. I should have asked permission first. Um, yeah, you've all seen it now. <laughs> have a wonderful evening, Hobby. Yeah, yeah, go get some food. Have a wonderful evening. Um, have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to finish up this uh, bit of the game, and then um, I'll be finishing myself. So we'll, let's, let's find out the answers here now. Right, there's overwhelming proof of that. It's the bat, right? Again? Oh, right, it's not the bat. Oh, it's yeah, it's these pictures, isn't it? I can prove it with yeah, this. it's these pictures that the the person received. Stick the blobby penis on the blobby penis. It's blobby penisception. Stick it on the inside of your glasses so you never forget what you've done. But these are both great suggestions. There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Because Paco is the killer, right? Yeah, but she was a tool. No, I don't think that's how that works. No, I, I'm, I'm not sure that's how that works, actually. Um, see, a person isn't a tool. Yeah, they might have, like, wanted you to do it. They might have even planned, helped plan for you, but they're, they're an accomplice. You are, you are the one who killed her. Why? Why are the ones I like always into some other cunt who's fucking telling them what to do? No, it's not! I'm sorry, but this is a very clear issue. In that case, the person who gets to live is... That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's 
It's completely insane, I agree. For once, with this with this little annoying girl. How would Paco be a tool in the first place? Paco is a legitimate human being. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Shits himself. For for weighing in on my side. That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Does that mean they're both from Spain? Probably at this point. <laughs> Who fucking knows? Jeez. Hmm, I'm in a bind, and what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiru Koizumi is... Hold on a sec. Okay, I'll wait. So sorry. I'm just hesitating. There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pekko's the killer. Why? Well, why? Well, that's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a friggin' human being. If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools. Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? Yeah. Pekko and I grew up together. Um, are you two childhood friends then? No. no, it's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzuryu clan took me in. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Wow. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... You are wrong, you're not a tool, Pekko. So if you are a tool, then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave just as I was ordered to interact with you all. Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. She does. It's unfortunate. I hate... This always happens to me. This is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master had always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loads relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then the one who tried to kill Mahiru wasn't you, it was Fuyuhiko. Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I beat the game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it. Damn it, I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? And she's she's covered in blood? What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You tried to confirm it with Mahiru, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So. Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I'm pretty sure Mahiru was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... You know when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Ah. 
out. <laughs> An eye for an eye, that's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here, I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because in the game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seems to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my si Wait. So his sister wasn't the dead girl at the start his sis dead sister is girl E so who was the dead girl at the start what that is... <sighs> hey. someone we never met slash not applicable to us okay fair enough interesting Whoever Sato is was. Ah. Fair enough. Shut the hell up. What are you saying? Jeez. Huh? Young master, I am finished. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Be quiet. Yes, it. She was just using sparkling justice. And we all fell for it, even me. That's obviously wrong. No. This is troubling. I'll admit, all this talk about Pe Pekka being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. On his behalf, you killed Mihiru, and now you're trying to protect her so that you can uh, sacrifice us so you can protect him. Great. You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just <laughs> a tool. Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then. So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Pekka just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Pekka and the rest of us. Is that your hope? What's the use of asking something like that? What? Huh? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Pekka, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Yeah, exactly. I didn't kill them. My gun did. Hey. It's just my gun is is six foot one, and it's got white hair and dazzling red eyes. <laughs> the fact that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Fuyuhiko, huh? um, I know you hate our guts, but huh? if you listen to Pekka, we're all gonna die. I... Young master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders, you just have to tell them that. I... Fuyuhiko, you mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakia and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. Y you're still saying that? Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Guns don't kill people, Wappers do. Uh, you don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating, hesitating like you are now, right? <laughs> There's no need to hesitate, young master. Please just tell them the truth. Young master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. Hmm. Fihiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose to Pekko, but hey. if you'll insist you're the killer just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pekko and fight alongside us against despair? 
Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. I read the text. Hey, Echo. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh shut up! I'm they care about each me. other. Oh, how touching. There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner tool serves no purpose god damn it we are done with that crap welcome in chroma by the way caring what a shame it turned out this way how sad alexa play despacito regardless i will not flee besides i'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough then why did you i have a plan huh? a plan Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please tell me the truth. Sorry. Young master. I'm a disgrace. Wow, he's got a free ticket out and he's like, I can't take it because it wouldn't be me. It would be it would be the easy way out. I've got to do it on my own gumption. <laughs> okay. And here I thought I'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Hey. Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? Knew about what Peko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? <laughs> Man, even if it was an act of desperation, Peko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. But too bad, you're definitely the killer. Peko, the tool with a heart, is the killer. Sorry. Peko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young master. Young master, you have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. That's why you will question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then why? Even so. Even so, I wanted you to escape. I wanted to protect you. Peko. Peko. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm sorry for what I've done to you all too. It may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please, and please do not do cause not a senseless cause a killing senseless such as this killing. ever again. Of course. That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? Never Just so you know, despair. I will never feel despair. As long as I'm a tool, I'm fully prepared to die. So cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. Yeah. Now then, let's begin. Master for you, Hiko. So... I want you to... <laughs> Chills. Why? Now then, I prepared. A I. I never needed a sword or shield. 
I never needed so you didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I know... Young master... Why? Let's go! It... I need you! Young master... Young master... They're in love! Just fucking kill her already! Oh, it makes you sick to your stomach. Time for the punishment. One woman army. It was the glass ball all along. Is there a glass ball? Oh, from the, yeah, from the first game, the crystal ball. The one that Leon throws to, um, to turn on the incinerator. I remember. Wait, what? Did he actually... Did she actually kill for Yuhiko? Did she actually kill for Yuhiko? Oh wow. Okay, so double double header. Such a waste. Oh. I need this to wrap up and it just keeps going. <laughs> Now he's gunning for Monokuma. Everyone. Uh, how'd you work that one out? Oh, he's dying. Right, okay. Even my battery's giving up. Yeah, I still don't think Nagato's a good guy, though. I get it, he believes in hope, but, like, almost to the point of, like, edging himself in a chair by himself with his pants down. It's just into it too much. Oh. That's true. Oh, my God! Minomi's using the rules against... Against Monokuma. That's true. Shit, she's got you there. Wow. He's called an ambulance. Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Kilgood. You've already killed your patients. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat. So, I'll see you. Of course he does. Of course he does.
forever. Fall, my tears. I'm sorry I'm speeding through this, folks, but I really need the stream to end. I think we're almost there. So the class trial ended, but we still can't see the real ending that we wanted yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. Welcome in Tozu IRL. Uh, the way I let out such a huge promo screen when I saw that we're playing Danganronpa. <laughs> I'm sorry, we, we, are, we are just about to finish. Um, we just finished Trial 2. I'm glad you had such a visceral reaction, though. That's cool. Yep, the timer is still ticking on the bomb. Oh my god, there's more. You guys can see it, right? Four people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not sure it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope, and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair, and the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Yeah. I don't even know what that emoji is. Anyway, thank God we've made it. Right, let me save. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it, we get it. Two more died. Three more died. Right, okay, okay, okay. Let me save, let me save, let me save. Dang it, Rampa. You're the, f the foul representation of ultimate despair. Well, jeez. You you're not bad yourself, False Zero. <laughs> Right, we have saved, thank goodness. Right, okay. Thank you all for being here, it's been absolutely wonderful. Sorry I've got to dash, um, Gollips is in a bit of a rush. Um, yeah, we'll play more Romper 2 next week. Also Monday, I'm probably going to be playing Banjo-Kazooie. I think I might do a bit of a long one on Monday and um, play the whole game and maybe even try and 100% in one sitting, because I want to start speedrunning it. Um, yes, no worries. Okay, let me get a raid ready. So we're going to be raiding... Um, uh, Anya Kista, who is playing, I believe, Final Fantasy VIII for the first time. We raided Anya last time we were playing this game, um, usually playing about this time on a Friday night. So please join me on the raid if you can. Say hello to Anya. Anya is a wonderful person, a uh, fellow stream team member. So I've been raided by one, and I'm passing over to one. That's nice. I will catch up with you all next time. Have a wonderful weekend. Look for my schedule on Twitter. See you all. Bye-bye.